Ray, you back, man? <laughs> Dang, Where you right, been? Man. Welcome back, Ray. Welcome <laughs> on, everybody. Yeah, it's been like what four episodes? Me yeah. and Mark been been doing went, it. Went like um, this, right? Yeah, super <laughs> quick. You know that like month this. came yeah, and gone. Man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? But yeah, like, so you are back with us. Uh, you know, you had a, a chance to to view us from the other side. Yeah, and yeah. I listen you know? to every so episode. Before we talk about the things that we played. You know, how about you, you know, I know you want to chime in on some of the topics that we've been yeah. talking about. So yeah, what, what are some key points, some key topics that you want uh, to uh, When I was piece? watching, man, I thought you guys were going to be way more on fire for Elden Ring. That was like, you guys were like low energy on that one, man. I thought you guys were well, going to be pumped for Elden Ring. Elden Ring, it was like. <laughs> you were kind of like down on it. Week. And Mark half haphazardly defended it but you were down on elden ring man well it was just like a little rinky yeah. dink thing that somebody recorded you know in secrecy or something like that and it didn't it didn't yeah. seem like <laughs> it was finished for one right and then for two it just like it, it wasn't really giving me anything you yeah. know it was it was like a little tidbits of here and there so i don't really have an idea of the game so i can't really be like super stoked for it i want to play the game don't get me wrong like i'm looking <laughs> yeah. out for it but it's just that it was something from like the back door it wasn't yeah. even like like right. a cut that was like dropped from them great quality and everything and then pulled like you know maybe there's a lot to look at maybe there's a little bit more gameplay or something but it was so short yeah. and kind of insignificant I didn't want to like, you know, I don't want to say, oh, this is it. You know what I mean? Because I literally pumped. got nothing from so it. So you weren't pumped about the horseback riding, assassins, assassinations? Like that's all new for from software. Well, I mean, the horseback riding is cool, but I don't know exactly how much or or what we can do with it because I didn't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if uh, if I saw it was actual like gameplay or whatever, or if it was a. Well, I think one thing that like it that. communicates is that it's a massive open world, and you're gonna need a vehicle. Right. And so they give you a horse. And there was also on horse combat too in that trailer as well. Was there? I yeah. didn't notice that. Okay. Yeah, so there maybe was a scene where they were riding missed. through and he was like, you know, attacking some guys, if I remember right. Yeah. I mean, maybe. But it, could but be it looked like to you, it looked like it was actual gameplay. Yeah, not just it was like actual gameplay. The whole thing was like gameplay. That. Yeah. The whole thing was, was in game footage. But the one thing too that I got super excited about was the assassination. Okay. Do you remember that scene where that the guy's creeping up on one of the. Uh, mm hmm. Like that's Assassin's Creed right there. Yeah. You know, and like I'm curious to see, you know, how how from software can do it. That's sweet, man. Like that's exciting. There's another way to play the game. But I mean, technically, right? All of like the Dark Souls and the Demon Souls, they kind of yeah. have like a mode of assassination kind of if you can walk go behind somebody, behind somebody and just, in one shot. Yeah, but this one seemed like he was crouching, like and you're like, a, it was a little just bit like a little more, bit more like an actual stealth it? mechanic. Mm -hmm. You know, like they were actually introducing into the game. Right. So yes, I mean, I agree. It looked the graphics were not anything impressive so well, i think a lot of people you know, had built up what this game should look like and be like because it's going to be like totally new but i think if you look at what it was like it had a bit of everything like when you saw the boss fight and he was doing the dive rolls you're like oh yeah that's D that's dark yep, souls yep. right there right, you know right. you, like you noticed it and you felt you're like okay that's definitely from software yeah i mean even and then when you, you saw look a few at the main new character. things you know as well that were never ever you know shown I was really excited, man, when I saw Elden Ring. And then just to know that – I remember there was lots of rumors, and one of the developers or someone who – producers of the game was like, no, this isn't like George R. R. Martin's books. There actually is words on paper. This thing is being completed. <laughs> nice. Like they were letting us know. Like this isn't – they are working Yeah, on this it? isn't like Lost in Obscurity like the George R. R. Martin books, you know, Game of Thrones are. Right. There's actually words on paper. This thing is getting done. And then we, then all of a sudden the leak happened like two days later, mm. and it's like, oh my gosh, he's right. Like this thing clearly <laughs> looks like it's pretty far in. So you yeah. think that you think that that was just uh, that guy trying to like prove what he was saying? Like, oh, <laughs> BS, man, BS. Like, we, we don't believe that. Yeah, you know, he's like, everyone's look, thinking I'm look, lying. we're working yeah. on a trailer everyone's right now. I'm lying. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like everyone yeah, thinks he gets I'm lying. fired the next day <laughs> exactly. for releasing that. Yeah, shit. like we don't know who leaked that footage, you yeah. know, but. Uh, but yeah, you know, so I was just super pumped about Elden Ring. Who wouldn't? I mean, I mean, who would? We're all pumped for it. It was yeah. it was voted most anticipated. You know, right. I think the thing though that it revealed though was I do think that it looked previous gen, and I'm wondering if From Software's like, should we show a footage of this game? Because people might be confused. Might be and the Halo Infinite. Because yeah, they like the probably Halo, the worked Halo on it a lot more. Yeah, yeah, because the Halo Infinite's flop. Mm -hmm. Because this was supposed to release like back in March 2020, and then COVID hit. 
and then all of a sudden it vanished off the face of the earth and we haven't heard from 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 yeah. from, from, from software ever since right but even if it was supposed to release in 2020 they knew that the playstation 5 was coming out that the xbox series x was coming out so shouldn't shit look like i think shit? covid though i think covid is probably is what, was what, what happened it. yeah I think, so you think that they were probably like set to like gold it or green light yes, it like mid yes. mid 2020 and then they and probably they had that in production. like 2019 and yeah so i think they, they went home stop production because when was the first the first like um announcement of elden ring that little trailer that they had made when was that that was like 20 2018 or something like that at least it might have been 2018 i think 2018 yeah which okay. is why I think we were all expecting it March 2020, mm -hmm. because that's from software's normal bi-yearly cycle. They release something like, uh -huh. every time. Every two years? And they didn't this last year. Yeah. Okay. So that's what was hard about why well, we didn't know where it came from. Yeah, I guess because Bluepoint was, was Demon Souls. So yeah, that that's wasn't... not necessarily yeah, yeah, from yeah, software, right? Like, right. that's their product, but they yeah. didn't make that. So mm -hmm. it's like, I think maybe they thought that too. Oh, well, they're getting Demon Souls this year. That should probably we can like, hold them off. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like a taste of our, you know, <laughs> That's reality. some of our, our, yeah, private, that's our previous work. That's you know our previous I mean? work. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> they didn't. And then I think like, what I think happened is like, right, when COVID hit, just production just ceased. Yeah. Everyone went home. Definitely. They didn't know what to do. Um, no one was working, and then it just kind of like escalated, and now here we are, still with no information on it a year later. Yeah. Right, well, um, I'm definitely looking to hear some more stuff on Elden yeah. Ring. Yeah. I, for sure. I'd be waiting for stuff to come down the pipeline, just like I'd be waiting for uh, Hogwarts Legacy and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, yeah I know, there's a man. couple of things, but what <clears throat> so other many topics? Delays. And then one other one that I really want to talk about, which I didn't think you guys touched on either, that uh -huh. I was hoping I wanted to hear your opinions on, was in uh, Pokemon Legends, okay, and how Nintendo didn't show any any trainer battles like in that trailer they didn't show any trainer versus trainer battle battles yeah right so i was wondering like what you guys thought i thought maybe one of you guys would mention that in the trailer and you didn't and yeah. so i wanted to bring it up it didn't because, come to my mind no, because i was like that's either. huge where's that at why didn't they show us that? Like that's I think what we want to see. I think, I think that's that a given though because right? i mean that's yeah. what's a pokemon game without but why know? wouldn't they show it then maybe it's like that's their coup de maybe it's something yeah. that they saving in the cut like, you know, to ooh and ah you Maybe, when, they, you when they have closer release, yeah. you know, to the game or something yeah. like that. Maybe they want to, you know, save that. But I thought that it was, you know, crazy that, like, the actual throwing of the Pokeball and mm -hmm. not having to fight them. Mm -hmm. I thought that was crazy. I thought that was one of the, uh, the like, most improved things, you know, that I could just try, like, an actual quick shot ball yeah. and then <laughs> maybe bag them. Before I even have to deal with like going into that right. stupid, you know, battle phase and stuff. Cause that's like one of the most annoying things for me about Pokemon is that little, the battle cut scene where you gotta like, that's and the best every part. time to catch a Pokemon. I, I don't right. like it cause it's like, it wastes my time. Bro, I already know the damn Pokemon. Let's get into it. I wanna throw this shit and then I wanna try to catch this hmm. thing. You know what I mean? But like, I don't know if I've gotten patient like sometimes, that. Sometimes it's like when you, when you're sitting there grinding and you, I think catching the reason Pokemon why, I think the reason, right, it's like, damn, man, I, I wanna th cut this I off. think the reason why I don't feel that way is because you only catch the Pokemon once. And so, like, once I have it, I kind of avoid it from that point on. So yeah, I'm not constantly grinding, like, it. catching that same Pokemon, which that would probably get annoying. Like, if I, okay, again, 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 and I keep failing. But I, most of the time, like, once you, once you see a Pokemon you haven't seen, mm -hmm. you kind of, and you just, you just kind of, you know, do your best to capture it at that moment in time. Like, you do your best you can, you know. You use your special abilities to get that health down to one HP as close as you can. <laughs> like, you're doing all you can to catch it that one time. Yeah. And then once you do, you kind of, like, avoid it from that point on um unless you're trying to like level up you know but yeah. you guys i think if i remember right you guys were a little bit like underwhelmed i think with what they showed yeah, in the trailer it, i mean it for the most part it kind of they didn't really like show much ones, i feel like too didn't show, yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah there's a lot yeah. of questions that were you know to be answered but and so that's why i was thinking like if they had shown the actual player versus player battle then that might have felt more meaty would have made the trailer feel a little yeah. more median like that. To oh, see how cool. the we have a full on full Pokemon game coming. Yeah. Right. Because what they showed you made it seem like it's only like it's almost like a Pokemon snap. Like With you're just catching. slightly modified. Like you're just catching. Yeah. But where's the combat that we all love? That's yeah. what we love the most. The gym battles, the trainer versus trainer battles. It's like, right. where's that at? But they even didn't show that. So I was yeah. like, what, what are they trying to do here? Yeah, and, and you know, and it, we were kind of talking about, you know, like the, the outer region or whatever. It kind of looked just like the, the one that was in the previous game in Sword and Shield. Like, 
And then the only thing that looked modified from it was the way that you interacted with the Pokemon, like, you know, trying to throw a ball at it and, yeah. you know, trying to, yeah. you know, aim the ball if you have to or whatever and throw that. Could be annoying or it could be awesome. Like that? You had to, like, death perception it. That's what I'm saying. It seemed like you that. had to aim it. Like, if yeah, you had to, like, yeah. sit there and, you know, get, like, That's the trajectory hard to reenact, or whatever. Because right? you know? it's a 2D screen, but it's a 3D world, but a 2D screen. So you're like, how do you kind of, like, judge how far away that Pokemon yeah. is from you? Maybe it's like a, it. like a bow, you know, like when you're playing Legend of, of Zelda or something like that, you Maybe. know, and you go into the bow and then you got to aim with it. Maybe, Maybe they might show, like, like, a little marker on the floor and then, like, you kind of, you know, got to extend it out and you just throw it on. That feature I hated in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I hate the throwing. I hate the Pokemon Go style. I mean, I like Pokemon Go <laughs> yeah. when it's on your phone, mm-hmm. but because it makes sense with your fingers, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was pretty with disappointed seeing that that yeah. method. You know what I mean? I hope they'll just be like a quick throw where you can just go. Whoosh, I do too. I it. agree. You know what I think mean? That that's gonna get old really years, quick. Because for so many Pokemon. Because for me, I'm I'm not like you. <laughs> yeah. I you know grind catching you know hundreds and hundreds. So of the Pokemon. Cut, but the cutscene doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. I just get my quick balls and I just throw it on the first time. Don't yeah. even attack it. Um, so the grind doesn't really affect me, but I will get tired of like trying to throw this, you know, perfect thing. And that seems that doesn't seem fun to me at all. Yeah. yeah. You know? I feel like it would be nice if you could use like the controller in some way to kind of, you know, heave it. You know what I mean? But like <laughs> yeah. that whole screen shit. <laughs> You know, like playing, you know, playing on the phone and trying to yeah, get the screen yeah. trajectory and stuff. That kind of sucked because it's like you do a slight off flick and your shit is way over there. And it's yeah, like, bro, yeah. come on, man. I know. Like, like, I didn't on, even come do on, that. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you try to get the spin yeah, you try on to it. Get the spin. You yeah. trying yeah. to get that. Spin. Hey, it was going to be the same thing. Yeah. You probably got to just spin it and then oh, throw it. Oh, you got to wind it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. People throwing their arm out of their socket and shit. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you. Like, shit, man. I missed it yeah. times. I wouldn't do this no more, man. <laughs> I'm sure they probably have like an off switch or something like that. that I'm hoping there's a quick throw. You just throw, boop, you yeah, know, I just throws it for you. Too, you know what I mean? Like an auto, like just, just like line press it up, a button just and just line it up. Yeah. Throw. Yeah. 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 yeah, And, and maybe the more Pokemon you catch, the better you throw it. So yeah. after you catch like a thousand, maybe you just always throw perfect every time. I don't know. Yeah. So so you hype for that game then, dude? The, I'm the hyped for it. I was disappointed. I'm super happy they finally are making it. That's what's hype about it. You know, regardless you're, you're of what happy they of show, the idea of yeah, it world, like we've right? all been waiting for this. I think for so long, and it's like, yeah. and it looks like it is what how we would all have, have imagined it to be oh, yeah, in a lot of sure. ways. Like, you know, because with Pokemon, they always play safe, right? They always go back to like the play it safe formula yeah. that they've had every single time. Yeah. And this one, it seems like they really, you know, went the extra mile to like give the players what they've always dreamed about having. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like a Breath of the Wild facsimile, you know, kind of thing. Free yeah. roam, free explore, yeah. go anywhere, do anything. Pokemon are just walking in the wild and you catch them. That's what we all yeah. dreamed about, about, you know? Yeah, I would I would like to just, like, walk into a town and, you know, and the town is wide open and there's Pokemon walking through the town yeah, that if they sure. don't belong to anybody, you could catch them <laughs> right there on the main <laughs> street, crazy. you know? Yeah. Um, I don't want to get bottlenecked into having to start at this town and then to proceed to another town. I have to go to that town or I have to do something. You know what I mean? Like, I just want it to be, I mean, they could bottleneck a couple of areas if like some, something like a big event went down or whatever, but I wouldn't mind actually being able to just visit every town. Yeah. But you would I probably want to. it separated by level, right? Like, yeah, zones. I don't, yeah, like I don't zones. mind that. Yeah. yeah. Like but you just want the make, freedom make to move. the tough monsters there. Yeah. But if I can run past them tough monsters, maybe there's something yeah. over there It'll in that, that city way. that I really want to get that to. Way. I think it will like be that. that way. I think it's completely free. They're not gonna like force you on the path like they do with the game right now, right? Yeah, I hope you're so. on Route Seven now, and you have to get Route Eight. You yeah. know, if they could basically do a Pokemon that's in like Breath of the Wild world, that's what it looked like to me. That's it all. Looked that's a lot all like I could ask for. I know. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's all, all we've been for. wanting for. Because there were zones that you couldn't walk through in Breath of the Wild because yeah. you didn't have the right pants on or something yeah. like that. You know, the right armor for flame retardant, or mm-hmm. it wasn't warm enough or Cold. something. So there's yeah. those restrictions. I'm cool with that. Because yeah. I could still try to trek through there and just like eat an apple or something like that and try see to run and see it. if I can make it. You know, I <laughs> yeah. might die in the middle of it, but you know, at least there's an attempt that can be made there. You know, yeah. not like some of the other games where it's just like you you run in there and then there's a hailstorm that just comes down and cracks you. It's like, nah, you, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Do they say why they're calling it Pokemon Legends per se? Because it seems like it might be a series. You know, is it telling us? 
is this going to be like the story of that particular Pokemon? Because that would be dope if they do one like around like let's say Mew or Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. You or know every what I mean? One of these legendaries. Yeah, like all I mean? the and legendaries, like but the ones that are like super popular. Because what's this one's Arceus? I'm not too familiar with that legendary. Yeah, neither am I. But it would be dope if Isn't they went new? back. Or is he old school? Um, I want to say he's from like two games ago or he might be from sword and shield i don't really recognize him to be honest mm. um maybe he's from one of the last and they kind of went games. like uh back back in time right like it didn't it seem like some like feudal japan type shit no, no. i didn't know yeah, it seemed it like, like, just like pokemon, standard pokemon. Yeah, it like pokemon did it because i thought like me. the the characters was dressed like old style or something mm -hmm. like that no I don't know. I yeah they looked about it. the same as they were in sword and shield oh okay yeah right. it's that old you know kind of like futuristic but other another reality kind of you know pokemon okay, yeah, feel yeah, yeah. you know yeah have. i was kind of getting like uh like last airbender type vibes yeah like the way they, yeah, they some dress nice and stuff like that i was getting there. those type of vibes yeah. you know what i mean Maybe. where it's not like yeah. you know back but, but samurai yeah, hmm. close. but yeah yeah i got you but yeah um so those were the two the two those topics. are the two main things and one more thing man uh -huh. death loop is not an indie <laughs> I know you mentioned that, dude. When I look at it, I just you get like an indie, a indie kind of uh, feel for it, or like a vibe for it. It just seems like it would be an indie game because it doesn't <laughs> look like something indie. else. But, <laughs> Loop is not an indie. But who makes who it? Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda and yeah. who else? Bethesda and it's it Bethesda um, and Arcane else. Studio, okay. who makes Dishonored. Gotcha. Didn't you play Dishonored? I it's did play identical Dishonored. to Dishonored, man, if you remember it. It's the same uh, exact I guess the thing artwork. with like the powers and the other yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah. I guess the yeah. artwork they copied is, it like directly. Similar. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, I'm pretty pumped for that one too. But yeah. Anyways. So that's I guess needless to say then if it's made by those guys, it's a sixty dollar game. Yeah, it's a six dollar game, and it'll be on yeah. Game Pass probably. Well, it, it will it's be. It's not on going to be because it's PS5 exclusive. Oh, it's oh, yeah. PS5 yeah. exclusive. It's not on PC. I don't. It, it might be on PC, but it's a PS5 they exclusive console exclusive. Oh, okay, okay, no, okay. they didn't. No. No, but there's uh uh. Microsoft came out and said they are they are keeping uh, all whatever initial contracts deals they had before the purchase intact. Mm, okay. So PlayStation's good for now, but you guys talked about it. Of course, right. Bethesda, uh, not Bethesda. Microsoft came out or Phil Spencer came out and, and said, said there's going to be there's going to be some yeah. exclusives. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's scary. But to be but PlayStation's good for now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But finally, there's like going to be a reason to own an Xbox. For like <laughs> finally, but still barely because. All the games are PC, yeah. Xbox. That's you. And you mentioned that in the yeah. last episode too. And that's always been a gripe of mine. That I've always felt that way. That was one of the reasons why, like, I didn't really jump on board the Xbox One generation because I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Literally every single game I could play on my PC at home. The one reason why, though, I bought the Xbox Series X and why I would still like make like try to convince you to get one is only because of how dope it is for the money. Like, how much you get for the money. Yeah. Like, it's still a really incredible, like, PC for four ninety nine. Yeah. You know, like, that's the only reason why. It's and I definitely see for that. The money. You for 500 to, bucks, you, that's the yeah, best you can it's get. A, it's the best you can do in the world right now. For 500 Like, maybe yeah. not a year from now, but right now in the world, it's, like, yeah. the best you can do. And it's, like, that's such a great deal. I'd recommend everyone to just go do it because it's such a great deal. Yeah, I definitely but, see that. But the game argument has always been, dude, such a hard one to make for Xbox yeah. because it's right. If you have a PC, why get a, the console? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. But one thing that I've noticed they've been doing is a lot of the bigger titles aren't for Game Pass aren't available right away on PC. I know. I was going to mention that to you, So too. that's interesting, to too. To more of an yeah. Like Destiny, vibe. dude, I was so pissed off that Destiny, all the DLCs weren't available on the PC. That mm -hmm. really irked me. I, I didn't even know I pretty that. much stopped playing at that point. I was like, what the? Because I love Destiny on the PC. It's incredible. And then when the last uh, DLC pack came out, it was excluded from the PC. And I was really bummed by that, you know? I wonder when it's going to come. Is it on I PC think Outriders too, bro. Outriders is only on console, I think. For yeah, free, I think that's what the, what the thing said. And so I was going to mention that too. Like, they're doing that. And so, like, there's yeah. another reason to, like, just shell out the 500. Yeah. And then they release it. It's also the on the cloud, though. So, how would the cloud work? Because doesn't the cloud work for PC as well? Soon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so they still haven't finalized the cloud yet? Mm -hmm. What the no, fuck? No, it's still in beta. They do, yeah. dude. That's still beta, man. Yeah, I it's guess they're beta. waiting until they can get that uh, backdoor web browser thing to get it <laughs> on iOS or something to make yeah. it, like, official. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But. Since we're talking about some shit, right? Let's Maybe get into some quick man. shots, right? You know? What about some, what about some games, man? I want to talk to you about Neo. Oh, okay. I need to oh, mention okay. that to you. you've been playing some <laughs> Yeah, stuff. like yeah. I wanted All to right. ask you, like, 
How much of that is one question I wanted, because that's what I've been playing for the little bit of time I've had over the last month is I've been putting my time into Neo. And I wanted to ask you, because that was your game of the year. Neo last too, year. man. Yeah. Neo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Of the year. Um, <laughs> I ended up buying that game for like eight bucks on like a Black Friday deal. Neo 1 or Neo, Neo 2? Neo 2. Okay. For eight bucks that's good. on PS4 that's a good on Black idea. Friday. <laughs> and I just yeah. sat on it. You better buy them DLCs, man. Give them some money. I know, dude. right? <laughs> and I just sat on that game because I was waiting for the PS5 upgrades. Okay. And they launched the PS5 upgrades like for basically right when, you know, I took my break right. to work, they launched the upgrade. Okay. And so so I, nice. I, I waited like a week because I was so behind. And then like, I had a little spare time. And so I finally put it in. I downloaded it. I got the PS5 version. Okay. So it looks pretty. That 60 frames per second is sick. I still got to I don't it know out. how much I would have enjoyed the game without that 60 frames because it yeah. helps a lot when you're fighting. I'm like sure it helps too when you're, uh, when you're sitting there dealing with uh, other people that, that come in to like invade or whatever. Dude, I haven't had any various. For some reason, my game like defaults Not invaders, to offline. In the other one. My, like, my game like defaults to offline. Really? Whenever I've started my game, it's an offline mode. Well, so Is that when you're I'm when you're playing it? it, do you rest it? I rest it. Yeah, a lot. yeah. It, so it does you just like uh, like Demon Souls does. If you notice, like when you just get out of the game, it puts you back to the main title screen on Demon Souls. So it's the same thing. It takes you offline, at, but it just doesn't kick you to the to the uh, the main title screen. I don't know why Demon Souls does. Or maybe it uses your profile because I, I noticed your profile was offline for like a month or two. Yeah. So maybe, maybe it looks at or do maybe. You, I don't Maybe, think I ever yeah. shut off my my profile, but I know Demon Souls yeah. is the one that will kick me off to the main screen. Mm. But in Neo, I was always able to keep playing, and I then I would the just have to is. go to a shrine and yeah. then turn on. But the, I would forget uh, to do online. that, so I just keep playing, right? Oh, okay. And so like I didn't have like any invaders, and I had like no blue swords either. Right, right, because so you're I had like online. no blue swords either, because those are things people drop in the world. Mm -hmm. But um. Shoot, well, I was going to ask you, oh, how much of that game did you do, like, on your own? Because I've soloed 100% of it, partly mm -hmm. because it's only been an offline mode whenever I've played it. But right. I've played the game literally 100% solo. Hmm. And there's been some challenges, man. There has. Like, there, there's a lot of challenges in that game. But... I don't like how there's little mini bosses all throughout the level. I think there's too many of them. Hmm. I think there's a little bit too many of them. Are they optional in that game? No, I never played it. they're not optional. Like, <laughs> literally... There'll be like a little fog in your pathway, <laughs> and you have to go through it to get yeah. to the next st spot. Do they respawn? No. Once no. you kill that you, fog, they don't. Okay. No. But if there were like, they even have the demons just roaming the world too. Yeah, yeah and like they the do respawn. Red eyes or the blue eyes. Like respawn. they got, they got some yeah. hard, more hardcore ones that will put in some work. And but like in have, some no, of the areas, have, those oh, dark zones. Oh, you're talking zones, about the little wisps of fog that just be sitting on the Yeah, map. but I'm also talking about the dark zones too. Yeah, those the dark are zones rough. have like four or five demons in them. They're like all mini bosses, and when you're trying to solo that man, like, and you have to kill all of them in order to clear the zone. No, you <clears> have to <throat> kill the one at the very end. Yeah, but you have to like, get but you got to get to it to get to the mm. one at the very end. But there are some areas where there's like two sides to it. So if you were to go around the entire map and come around the backside, you could get into it. Like, so if you saw it and decided to veer to the other path, that's been very and rare. Then go though. around. There are a couple. Maps Most of the so time, there's only happen. one way through, and you right. have to go through the dark zone a lot yeah. of the time. So sometimes you know, like you can find the the person that's given off the fog or whatever and kill them immediately. But like you said, it's rare. But there are some some maps that do give you like another way around to go mm -hmm. about it, so you wouldn't have to traverse the entire thing. So it's like the opposite of like Demon Souls or Dark Souls, right? Where like, okay, it's not like the complete opposite. But as you're traversing Dark Souls or Demon Souls, you're coming across pretty strong foes, mm -hmm. but they're all pretty beatable, right? It isn't until you get to the boss you're like, gosh, this is hopeless, right? Mm -hmm. But so, so you feel pretty strong as you're moving through the level. You're like, okay, I can do this. I can, I can progress. The boss is where you stop progressing, right? In Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Definitely. In Neo in Two, Souls. I honestly feel like it's the zones that keep me pr from uh, um, from progressing. Yeah. I've been able to like beat the bosses. Uh -huh. Like a lot of the bosses are like other human characters, and they're really easy to beat. But the getting to the boss can be like a real challenge sometimes, hmm. and like sometimes it's a little bit exhausting. You know, mm -hmm. trying to beat those demons like over and over again. And they make you kill quite a few before you find the shortcut, yeah. you know, to the next to the next shortcut. <laughs> yeah, that one door so, to open up or whatever. Yeah, so it was getting like pretty, pretty tiring, man. Like I was in, it was like a love-hate. 
Because mm. some of those zones were big, man. And you had to kill like a lot of demons to find the shortcut. Yeah. And if you died, you had to do that all over all again. Over again yeah. You know, like it was pretty tiring. Yeah. So to answer your question, um, for like the first maybe four to five, like I'd say like maybe the first 10 like missions or whatever, um, I did those solo. But at a certain point, uh, once you start getting uh, used to your skills and, and how to work everything and how to maneuver, um, you also get uh, the uh, Choco Cups. And so, I have like 100 of those. Right. So the, the, the first thing I would do, because I, I realized that if you go to the shrine and you go to the Kadamas, you can purchase five Choco mm -hmm. Cups, regardless of mm -hmm. like as long as you have the rice right. or whatever to give them. I have a thousand rice. Yeah. So you can always purchase. Yeah. Like after a while, mm -hmm. you just get so much. You can always purchase once mm -hmm. you run low. So the first thing I would do is I would go into the map, run to the shrine, immediately offer up two Choco Cups, and then I would go and do the the thing so as i'm going i might see a notification that tells me Someone that somebody joined. is coming in and then i'll be like oh okay cool and then somebody would come running in with me um, i'm gonna have I to didn't try really that method because it might make it more enjoyable i don't know but yeah, it's been a I challenge i didn't really man. use the blue swords uh a whole lot uh because they take sometimes they take a lot of a choco cups like four uh, yeah to, to build them and they don't really do a whole mm -hmm. lot more you know what i mean so playing with an actual person uh makes it a lot better yeah, and, and it cheaper. seemed like when i did get a blue sword because mm -hmm. there was one there was one section that was really hard it was one mission where <clears throat> you enter the zone and it's waves so it, like one dude pops up and then like two dudes pop up and then like a stronger dude pops up and then okay, another yeah. dude pops up right. and you have to kill all the waves before you finish that mission. Right. And if you die once, you got to start the whole waves over again. So it was like tiring. And so like I was and like. And if you die, your Choco help, Cups man. is gone for, that, for that blue guy. Yeah, yeah but so. you start off at the shrine and you just buy the Choco Cups again. Right. So that's the thing. Like you always have. Mm -hmm. And I have like infinite divine sh divine rice because they give you like a trillion items. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They give you they drop so many items in the game. And you just sell them all. Which is nice, dude. That yeah. So going, I'm man. never out of a Choco Cups. But. But then, like, okay, I'm gonna try to summon a blue sword to see if it can help me out. And it just made it harder because I think, like, when you have a player with you, the difficulty rises. I'm almost oh, yeah. positive uh, the it's difficulty bit, rises. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it does. And then he like wasn't doing much, and it was making it harder. Uh, and I was yeah. like, this is just better You're to just solo. This is better to just play up by myself. Uh, but I'm, I bet if a human though, yeah, was with me, then that would really help. Yeah, you a know? lot of times I would raise a, a blue sword up, and then he would just run out there to get slaughtered. Yeah. And it's like, ah, damn, dude, I just yeah. wasted like three cups on your ass. Like, do something, I didn't care man. about the Kill cups, something. but yeah, because you got so many of them. Yeah, well, yeah. it just, uh, it's a little bit, like, I don't want to, I'm, you know, I, I get thrifty. So I, even though I got a thousand of them shits, I don't want to spend every time. I don't want to yeah. waste my time, like, spending, you know, so... Um, a lot of times it is time. It takes a few seconds. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of times what I'll up. do is I'll just, you know, when I, I throw in the choco cups or whatever, if I do get one or two people to come in every sword, I'm stopping at every red sword, they popping up, we killing them. You know what I mean? So oh, you can I run see. through them and you get a choco cups. Like, so pretty, you're just collecting often. more loot and stuff because yeah, you have yeah, a player yeah. with you. Right, right. So they have, you know, the, the red swords are nice because you get some of the weapons that they might have uh, right. built on. Yeah. And you might I, get I that. I will only click a red sword if they have a piece of loot that I want on from them. Right, Then right, I'll click right. on the red sword and hmm. I'll fight them. Yeah. Um, but, uh, shoot, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. What weapons are you? did you like using? What was your favorite weapon type? Um, so... The uh the kunai with chain, I think it is. Oh, you like that? Yeah, that joint. You <laughs> <laughs> shred them up, man. You be dancing with it. Ah! Funny, dude, dude but, I use the the uh, switch glaive the entire time. Okay, so because you're playing with the with the new updates and stuff like that for what the oh was that, that not part like of it DLC. or something? So yeah, when I first started the game, the switch glaive was not there. Okay. Um, so I had the kunai with chain, and then you have uh, a different weapon. Um, I can't off the top of my head. I can't remember it, but it was a weapon that was good with magic. So I like using magic in that game because magic is really OP. At a certain I, point, I've been boosting my magic, but I have no magic abilities. You have no magic abilities. Yeah, like it's super hard because you have to. In order to get magic, you have to use magic. Right. And when you start the game, you don't have any magic. You, you have, have to hope you can buy one from the bazaar, like a magic talisman. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then if you use that, that will give you some magic. But until that point, there's no magic. Well, there's there's something there's like some of the little items that you can use 
that are in there. So yeah, I think it's like the you ones where you items. light up your sword. Yeah, or, but you have to uh, find whatever. those in the world, mm -hmm. or hope that the bazaar is selling them. Right to get it otherwise, started. there's no yeah to get started. Yeah. So I went like a few levels without ever having any magic. I'm like, what a stupid mechanic. Mm -hmm. Like when you start in Demon Souls, they'll give you at least one spell. Yeah, that's true. Right, they'll start you with yeah, something. Yeah, if you choose that magician. Yeah, or like it's like what the heck? They start me with nothing, and I have to just hopefully, and it's random rolls. The bazaar. Mm -hmm. I was watching some YouTube videos, and guys like you gotta restart the game and just hope that it gives you one. Oh, start a new character. Yeah, yeah, yeah just that. start a new character, and then eventually, you know, you'll get you one, and you can start your magic off early. Yeah. I'm but, like, what the heck kind of mechanic is that? But I could have sworn that there yeah. was, like, uh, some, like, basic item that you would get that you would be able to consistently use, and it was always, like, available that you could use to gain your magic up. But mm -hmm. I kind of – I is. actually like that aspect because the more you're using something, the more better No, no, it I is. like that mechanic, but they got to give me something to start to with. To start with. Yeah, yeah okay. that's my beef. Right, right. I, I, I like, you. yeah, the more I use it, the better I get with it. Mm -hmm. I like that. And the familiarity. Yes. I like when you see an item, you're like, okay, that's not his true potential. Once I start building the mm -hmm. familiarity You'll of that weapon, that actually... I, it's going to get stronger. Those right. mechanics are cool. Yeah. Um, another thing I don't like, too, is the um, the key the key pulse, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really integral. Like, if you if you can't key pulse, you're going to be getting ate up because you have to be, be, be you have to to get your stamina that back. stamina back. Yeah. Like in Demon Souls, it's a faster re it's a faster region of your stamina, mm -hmm. so they don't require an additional button press. Right. Like that's my problem. It's like you're requiring me to press one additional button to be good at this game. But that's and that's hard. Yeah, that's to be like extremely efficient. Yeah, with but like your kills. But you had yeah. to, and so and also I did what you said. Mm -hmm. Like you told me, whenever you play a game, you just whatever controls they throw at me, I just play it. And like, so I did that. Like, I didn't touch anything. I just, whatever throws like, they sold at me, I just whatever. played it. Yeah. And it took me a while, but I forced myself. But the thing is, like, I went to to um, to uh, Outriders, which we're going to talk about right now. Uh -huh. And that was different because I was used to pressing X for dodge and stuff on Neo and not O. Yeah. Because O is the, the traditional dodge. Uh -huh. That was really the only one change I wanted to make. If I could just swap X and O, but they will not let you swap X and O. They will not let you. <laughs> yeah. Like, why can't let my buttons. O be my collect things? Uh -huh. and, I mean, X be my collect things and O be my dodge. They will not let you swap those. For some reason, they will Damn. not let you swap them. Yeah. But I will tell you, did you ever notice in the, um, I think it's the ninjutsu tree or one of the trees. Uh -huh. That you can click um, ability in one of those trees that lets you key pulse on dodge. Did you ever that notice you that? Key pulse when you dodge? When you dodge. Uh, I think there is a I – can't, I can't no, remember exactly, but I'm I believe there you, is one ability it? that you can use well, that when you dodge. Well, there's three abilities. The thing is you need to have it for each stance. Mm -hmm. So you buy the skill for the low, for low stance, mid stance, and high stance. Right. And then whenever you dodge, you'll key pulse. Yeah, but you have hmm. to do it like at that that perfect time or whatever. Well, you have to time it. it. You dodge it and yeah. it'll do it for you. You yeah, have I to time that. it, but that's so much better because I am dodging. Dodging right, is a button that I'm always going to be pressing. Right. I don't have to think about an additional button to press. Mm -hmm. And so that really opened the game up for me. So when I got that ability, that's when I really started to get like, wow, I'm getting really good at this. Yeah. Like I saw my skill level improve. Okay. Because I was able to keep pulse and keep the pressure on, then keep pulse, keep the pressure on. Right. Because you'll you'll do a couple of slashes and then you'll do that back dodge with the key pulse and you'll. Like, yeah, exactly. So like, back. really, it's about finding just a. There's just really the only thing is just a little timing. Yeah. Because once you're done with your swipe, you want to just give it like a half a second just to build up that key. Before you dip out. And now you dip out, mm -hmm. and it usually times right. You know, and so that that really helped, man. Then they didn't have that in Neo One. That's that's one thing that I'm glad they added to Neo Two. That made it so much more accessible. Yeah. And so I would say anyone who plays Neo Two, find that it's like water, or water wave or something. Move like the water, but there's one for each stance. Right. So high, low, buy the mid. one that you like the stance the most for, which is like probably mid stance. Buy I like that high. One. You like I high. Just I switched you between hold I switched between that, high and mid that, a lot. That, that heavy consistency. Because sometimes yeah. like you come across like a big ogre guy. Who like he's he's attacking pretty quickly, right? Like he'll do one attack, and there won't be a lot of time between, you know, to hit him between his next attack. Mm -hmm. So like, gosh, I want to get like one big hit in before I have to dodge out of the way, and so I switch to high because the high will hit really hard, just right. one hit, and then I can dodge away. Mm -hmm. For the mid, I want to do my full combo, and that does like a crap ton of damage, but I don't have time because he'll be swinging, and he doesn't flinch. Like the big guys that don't flinch, you have to use high stance. Yeah, because you won't be able to flinch their attack. But I think like uh, the the bread and butter was always uh, the ones that you could twirl, or whatever. Like the high stance uh, with like a heavy hold. 
Um, so like with the switch glaive, you sit there and you twirl it around mm -hmm. you and then you can move forward a little bit and yeah. you're just shredding them. So, you know, once you get your, your magic stats up like really high, you know what I mean? You have good stats on your weapon for the switch glaive. You're able to just like shred through damn near anything as mm -hmm. long as you can get that stance off with them close by. Um, but you know, there's also like it's reward and then it's also like, you know, give cause yeah. like if you I'm do, a, if you do at the wrong time, the you're going to get smashed man. The switch glaive is like addicting, dude. The switch glaive is a great it's weapon. It's like three once weapons in one, it, dude. Yeah, it's like Bloodborne. I'd recommend if you're itching to play some kind of like Dark Souls type game. Yeah. like I would recommend getting Neo. And you like still I haven't said, I got Demon it for eight bucks, yet, though, right? I <clears throat> so I haven't touched Demon Souls yet. You should. You should. Um, you know when you were doing your little buy list where you're buying games. Yeah, for cheap. Add Neo to the list because okay. you should be able to find that for real <clears throat> cheap on PS4. They got the collection because I saw the it has one free upgrade. Okay, because I saw the one and two. So you're recommending just buying just play number, two, just play two, just play two. Yeah. So the story is kind of irrelevant in the game. It's totally irrelevant. Okay, cool. The story in two, you're just like basically, ex you know, extinguishing demons across the land. You might like be following okay. a leader. But there was more of a story in two than there was in one. One was completely but the game. The one yeah, doesn't have to. The what, stories two, in Neo are, are the stories are independent of each other. They're just pointless. Got you. Okay. Like there's a little more story in two. You're right, but they're they're relatively pointless. The whole point is battling demons. Got you. And getting stronger. Like that's the story. Okay. So just think of it that way. You're there to extinguish demons. People send you on missions to do that. Like gotcha. you're like a mercenary to do that. But it's it's definitely it definitely pulls from from software. They're a straight copy. Yeah, for sure. But they add their own elements to it. The key pulse for one. Um, the combat's faster. It's like Bloodborne. So it's much uh, more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls. And the switch glaive is almost identical to the switch glaive and. So is there only parries? There's no blocks in that game. No, there's blocks. There's oh, okay, blocks. cool. Yeah. You, you, and then what's cool is in in Neo. A block with your weapon, it's 100% block. So all so weapons is 100%? Yeah, so but it's, it's not it's like... It's dodging your nice. stamina down. It's yes, but chalk stamina, down. but it's yeah. it's not like in Dark Souls. When you block with the weapon, it's only like yeah. 60 or 70%. And then it's element-based. And then based it's element-based. Yeah, yeah, there's none of that. When you block uh, with your weapon... But, dude, that, that's, that's why the crazy. key pulse is so useful. Because, like, you can get in there and you can, like, hack on a dude and then key pulse and then block and he won't do any damage to you. And you'll basically just take the stamina that you would have lost had you just dodged out of there. Like, yeah, yeah. if you were playing Dark Souls... You know, you get that stamina back, and then you can just sit there and block and take it, and then you can just kind of move away. Is there a cooldown on keep pulsing? Or? No. Mm -mm. Keep pulse is only when – so imagine in Dark Souls, you're playing Dark Souls, and you do like a three-swipe combo, mm -hmm. and then wait a second, and then press a button, and then that will recharge your stamina back instantaneously. So is there like a – you have your bar. Is there like a sub bar that shows how much yes. you use? Yeah. You yes. keep pulse to get it back. Yes. It'll it's give you like what? a ghost. It'll give you like a ghost, a ghost bar, bar, but you see, like, yeah. you see like – um, But there's – but there, like, there's also there's also a visual you. image yeah right. on your person so you don't have to watch your bar if you look at your person what? you'll see like these little sparkles and as they come into you hit the button and you'll re recover like 80 to 90 percent of that stamina you just spent damn so if so you get it, good at that so it encourages you to, to do combos it encourages you to do combos I yeah see. but you don't have to play that way like there's lots of people i watch online that play it like dark souls yeah they swipe and get out swipe and get out mm -hmm. but if you get really good at key pulsing then you can really do some fun yeah. stuff and sure. i think the, the bigger the i think the bigger your combo is when you uh absorb that key it will give you a lot more so you could do one swipe and, and then, then you pulse. can still get a key pulse from it. Interesting. But yeah. if you're doing like three, four hits and then you key pulse, yeah. you're going to get a lot more of that back. Than yeah, you or like just doing if, you end the got, if you got like a little bit too risque, right, and you didn't realize your stamina bar was so low. Because sometimes I can get carried away with key pulsing and because you because you're not recovering all of it it's like 80 right. percent okay so like if you do it a few times now you're getting low right and they'll be like oh crap i'm really low and i have like just that much stamina i'll swipe and then key pulse and then dodge out of there <laughs> because like i'll use that little bit of key pulse to, to get, get out, out of there, right yeah. and then i can like yeah. run away and charge does, it back does, up. does sprinting drain your stamina yes. in that game? Sprinting can you can stamina. you sprint then and then key pulse no mm, only okay. attacking and okay key got it yeah you have but to do, like, one there is a new stat in neo 2 which I think is courage that actually increases your key pulse regeneration rate, yeah. which mm -hmm. you didn't have that in the O1. Mm -hmm. So you can actually increase the speed, like in Dark Souls. Uh, you know, in Dark Souls you can increase yeah, the waist yeah. down and how fast it recharges. Yeah. You can do that in Neo too. So I, I wish they had a one for. Of into that. <laughs> I wish they had an MP uh, recharge for uh, Demon Souls. 
Yeah, they, they don't. don't have one. They don't. I think so. it's a slow, right? It's, it's it's just well, no. If you start off as a magician, then you get a ring the that ring. will give you a slow That's recharge. Right. But if not, ring. yeah, like it's. I don't think you. I think you have to take something in order to get your MP. So or I heard. Like that. Oh yeah, that's right. You were struggling. You were struggling on the spider. <laughs> have you finally beat that yet? <laughs> I, I have it. So uh, there's a spot. I, I cheesed it. Okay. I just discovered it. Yeah. If you go kind of like halfway through. Because you know you're the always tunnel? trying to dodge. Yeah. You're always trying to dodge. So I would dodge all the way to the wall, right? Uh huh. And then there was like this spot, yeah, in the tunnel, and like if you go like halfway forward, um, maybe it was muscle memory because I think I was doing this a lot. I think I did this exact same strategy originally on the PS3 on the like decade ago, uh-huh. right? Where if you move forward and you slide to the right, I was like, I think I'm safe here if I remember right. And there's a little spot there in the wall. There's like you know spider webs and like wood, you know, to hold the the tunnel up yeah yeah if you go into that little spot there mm-hmm. the fireballs won't will hit a wall there like yeah are you talking wall. about the threes or the ones You're talking about demon all souls, right yeah demon demon souls. Souls. Okay, okay, yeah okay. all the nothing will hit you no projectile huh will hit you okay. and so and like if you just kind of like squeeze out just a tad so i was using the bow and arrow i don't oh, know okay. how magic will work but i was using the bow and arrow i'm using and I would the magic slide out just a tad like a just so my creature. arrow would, you know clear nice. the, the barrier yeah and his fireball is a little more you know larger than my yeah. arrow right and so it would kind of like nick the wall and it would never hit me the only thing you had to watch out for was the when when he spilled the fire out right, mm. right and right, i right. i got that guy dead easy mm. see but the real challenge comes after him you have the flame lurker after him Oh, okay. He's but he's not right after, though, right? No, he's not right, right, right after, right. but he's the next boss, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the next boss. I know right the Flame Lurker was always beastie. But there's actually a shortcut to the Flame Lurker if you want to know it. Is from there? the uh, once you beat the spider. Okay. There's a really quick. Um, once you beat the spider, you get the bonfire. Yeah. And then you walk straight, and then instead of going left, go right. Mm-hmm. And you're going to go down a hallway, and then there's going to be a big old chasm that just goes in, like, oh, I can't go this way. You, know? you so just you drop turn down? Around. <laughs> no, but there's actually a route. If you If you go down, and when you hit that chasm, Turn right. There's some barrels you can actually break. Roll okay. through those. Yeah. And then, then there's like a pathway you could fall down onto, and you can see you can fall, fall, fall. Oh, That's actually okay. the route to the flame lurker for the repeat attempts. Oh. So once okay. you've died, you hmm. want to get back to him instead yeah, of going yeah, the whole yeah. long way to get to the freaking right, guy. That's the shortcut. That's the shortcut. Nice. So look for that. If okay. you kind of just want to like fight him, you right, know, right, go that just way. Just to get him out of there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. otherwise, turn left and go the long route, and you know, get some souls to level up. I guess. Right. But, but yeah, once you beat that spider, you're like right at Flame Lurker. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about um, using my humanity, like getting my humanity and then seeing if I could uh, get somebody to come in and help me fight it. Yeah, you or could whatever, do that. But you could do that. I wasn't or you sure can fight for somebody to. else and but, get your humanity back. But I got like, I got to the point where, uh, and I, I'm sure it probably hits you sometimes where you kind of just like, fuck, man, I just want to get back there. So you just try to like like speed through everything because yeah. it is a long ass path from that, <laughs> that arch stone long, dude. all the way to the freaking uh, spider boss is a long yeah. path. So like That's running one annoyance, running man, all with, the way with, through it, having to deal with souls. the dogs. Yep. Even if you don't deal with the guys pickaxing and stuff like that, you still got to deal with the did dogs. You, did and you the, and did the you magicians. get the elevator? The elevator? Yeah, the elevator. That shortcut to the right. Right when you. On the very first bonfire, when you start off, you call yeah. it the desert region, but it's more like the blacksmithing, yeah, the yeah, blacksmith yeah. zone. Right. There's an elevator as you walk forward. Left. So when you walk up the stairs, so you 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 teleport, you walk up the stairs, you just keep going straight right. instead of turning right and going. Yeah, that yeah, way. yeah, yeah. There's an elevator there that <laughs> right goes behind up. the guy who's sitting at the bonfire. Yeah. Right. Or sitting at a fire. Yeah, that merchant or whatever. Right, but there's a yeah. blacksmith down there. There's yeah, nowhere there else is. to go down there. No, but up is the shortcut. So oh. if you go up, let it take you up. Oh, okay. And See, then there's a shortcut there. I'll always yeah. be going down. I'll be going yeah, down. Yeah, so that's like, the shortcut. Like all the way high or whatever. Let it go all the I way high. Yeah. Okay. You, going down is what you mainly use it for. Right. Because you want to go with right. the blacksmith. Right. But let it take you up and you got a little shortcut. Okay. See? Yeah. I yeah. know. I'll I be sitting there going the whole way and I'll be like, God damn, man, these magicians <laughs> and these freaking dogs are annoying as hell. Yeah. They didn't do a great job with placing the shortcuts, man. Some of them are not are, well, too, are still too far away. That was one of the even brutal the swamps, things too, about man, Demon Souls. That, even in the swamps, the shortcut's pretty pretty far away still when yeah. you get there. Right. But yeah, that was one of the brutal the brutal things about Demon Souls that they fixed in Dark Souls. They gave you yes. a lot more yes. shortcuts <laughs> exactly. and backdoors and stuff like exactly. that with Dark Souls. But yes. Demon Souls was pretty brutal just because yeah. you had to go the entire freaking way before you could get to any kind of a checkpoint. Yeah, you know? dude, I can't like, believe you haven't started playing that game yet, man. It's so good. Dude, I just been so busy so good, with my bro. personal life. I'm I haven't seventy six too. Right? I haven't. I haven't right. been able to just like 
Sit you know, sometimes I just want to chill. You, you want to play, right? You really want to play. Yeah. Sometimes you don't I just want to play for chill. a half hour. Yeah. You want to really play, right? Yeah, because yeah, lately you. I've just been playing games <laughs> I can just chill and like literally, okay, if I need to leave, if I need to just BS around and, and do something. Yeah. Um, but I, I know Demon Souls when I play it, you're gonna I, I'm going to be yourself. in for a ride, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And I can't just like jump in yeah. and mess with it for a few minutes. Yeah, you want to so play, man. That's why I'm like, I'm waiting for like, you know. But see, Neo 2 is actually more of that. Where you can kind of just play it and jump in and out. Yeah. yeah. Jump in and out. And it's like not I as said, like dedicated as Dark Souls. It's not like, as meticulous. Yeah, like gotcha. I said, you can literally <clears throat> just, you know, shut the, the the thing off and it'll stay right where yeah. you were at. And you yeah, just come it does. right back in and it just does, keep which going. Is really cool. It's really nice. Like it's that. just level it's level based and there's no like meticulous grind through the zone. Like a lot of levels are really short. You, you like can literally run through levels. Yeah, if you, you can run to. through levels. Or really there might short. be some that'll yeah. bite you in the ass because they follow you mm -hmm. a long ways, but you could literally yeah. run through Dang. like a whole bunch of. stuff. I really recommend it, man, because you're a yeah. Souls guy, I'm, and I I'm, really recommend it a lot. I added it to my list. Just now that you told sure, me, just make sure you get that dodge key pulse. That changed the game. Dodge for key me. pulse. Okay. Because you're gonna dodge all the time. It's so much funner that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll give definitely give that a try. Yeah, I mean, I think I could probably. I think I got a hard copy of it, so I'll okay. let you borrow it. It's a free download. It's a free PS5 upgrade too. Nice. So you don't need to have like That's a new 60 version. FPS. Put that old PS4 in there, and they right? give it to you. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. So cool. Perfect. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into a yeah. couple of yeah. quick shots, right? You know, uh, so a couple of quick shots is Gotham uh, Knights. 2022 so uh we didn't know exactly when it was gonna come out we thought it was gonna come out like real late 2021 yeah. but you know got was that my anticipated bit. was either one or was that mark's no i think that was, yours. was one of my i think that was one of your anticipated games Darn it, <laughs> like, man. Yeah. i missed on that one dude <laughs> so that's a that's a bit of a yeah. bummer you know i, I, I think yeah. we we're all looking forward to it i don't think it surprises too many people though i mean we haven't seen jack it does from surprise it. me a little bit but but, yeah, but, it but doesn't, right. doesn't. But we since they revealed anything. it, we've literally seen nothing about it. But it looked really fleshed out when they did reveal it, which is why I was really sure it was going to come Maybe out. Maybe it was just year, that one map level. That <laughs> yeah, right? The it was yeah. so polished. It looked so good, No, it didn't did. It? it looked incredible. And um, But like I said, we haven't seen anything from it. And uh, COVID, man, you know, COVID has Darn an effect it. on things. So yeah. this is going to be a 2022. Now, hold on. Do you think they just using COVID as a lot like of an these excuse? Companies are. I think a lot of these companies are. It's like, it's COVID, bro. So we got to push this back like a whole Fewer man hours. Year or weren't able to get it in, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no idea, dude. Hey, but um, it sucks. <laughs> another one of them was uh, the fact that PlayStation decided to purchase the Evo uh, Fighting Championship mm -hmm. e event. Or is it a game? What is it? Because I'm not really... So it's a tournament series, fighting, right? It's a fighting. tournament circuit. circuit so, yeah. okay. so it takes place internationally, okay. not just in America. We always have our tournaments in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. but they're in Japan. They're all throughout the world. And is this like any fighting games or it's like a specific so, one? So how it works is it's based on the community. So what people are playing, okay. right? So a game like Super Smash Brothers Melee is still at this because it still has a huge following that's mm, big dude that is yes. super smash the fact yeah, that the playstation melee. would be holding yeah, a, that's crazy game, game yeah. uh, a that's smash crazy. bros is kind of cool yeah too, like yeah. any yeah. nintendo smash bros tournament you're gonna want so they got rights to those tournaments huh yeah so wow so they'll be throwing the you know these tournaments i think it's really good um for sony i don't know how sony is gonna like use their waiter you know a, a lot of these games they already play them on playstations for example like street fighter yeah the, the latest iteration of street fighter 5 is only on PC and PlayStation. So at mm. tournaments, they normally use a PlayStation mm. to play. Right. Um, some of the other games... I have noticed that. they all, A lot of the players prefer the PlayStation controller and the PlayStation when it's available. Yeah. yeah. So, so most of them, they play on PlayStation because Street Fighter V. So at these tournaments, they'll have one machine because, okay, this can play all the games. You know what I mean? Right. So Mortal Kombat, I like see 99% of the people using PlayStation mm -hmm. controllers, the DualShock to play it, mm. um, just because that's kind of like the the console of choice right now right. for fighting games. Slash PC, of course. So it lines up well for Sony. So it lines yeah. up well. You know what I mean? Do you think that they'll come out with like a new fighting game that they just want to promote only? Like, hey, get, get damn good at this game because it's the only shit that's going to be might, the Evo. They you might. Know I mean? promote like, now. You know, they might promote now. They might promote. I don't think so because. They can make their own tournament for it. Right? Yeah. Try to push it. Just use it. Just I just use think that, making that a fighting game is so complex, you know? It's like getting into the card game. Like, you know, uh, Valve thought they could make a card game like Hearthstone. But it, there's just so it's many. hard to balance. There's so many cards, factors that go game. into yeah, it, like really popularity, balance, feel, yeah. what engine are you mm -hmm. using. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe they'll get some exclusive rights to games. Maybe, like, I'm just throwing this out there. Maybe, like, a Mortal Kombat, they'll be like, hey, let's get exclusive Didn't rights to this. Didn't they announce it, like, 
2018, like the new Street Fighter or something like that was coming to PlayStation exclusively or something along those lines. Oh, we had a, well, yeah, the, the, the last like PlayStation, that. yeah, yes, yeah, Street Fighter Five is only on PlayStation. Yeah, that's, okay, okay, that's what so, I just said. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that so was the one that they. That's announced, the right? one. Okay. Yeah. So it happened already. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it happened. See, already. that's the thing. Sony is really big on these fighters, man. Yeah. And that's what you were saying. That's why everyone uses PlayStation because. Because it can play. play. Yes. So I wasn't right. making the connection that I was exclusive. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's only on PC and um, it, it's exclusive to the console of Sony. Okay, I didn't know this. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's the one. Yeah. Okay. And as yeah. a result, too, I think like more, um, a lot more niche uh, games are only on the PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. A lot yeah. of these smaller fighting games for some reason. Like Brawlhalla I, and stuff like that? Um, Brawlhalla's on all, but I think games that are like made in Japan um fighting games like i think guilty gear, I was gonna say guilty gear yeah yeah. Them, yeah things yeah. like that you yeah. know and uh um, so samurai it, showdown weren't they so making maybe, that again yeah this is samurai showdown yeah. but that's on all consoles it's on all yeah. yeah so maybe that means that there'll just be like more uh different sections in the event like there'll be different fighting games that'll be in there oh so yeah they're just all using yeah, playstation different games. Maybe yeah. Different yeah. Like a games whole lot play. more I don't like I said it's all community so it's based on how many people because like I said they still bring game cubes and tube TVs to Did play they? for melee because oh, melee okay. literally has more following than Mortal Kombat but they could just use the <laughs> Nintendo switch version though right that's well melee is for GameCube so oh, okay. more people play the melee version than most other right. fighting games so mm. they they do they do have the super the latest Super Smash Brothers ultimate they do have a tournament for that too okay but it's literally based on what people are playing so if a random um clay fighter from the Super Nintendo got popular one year yeah they will probably bring it to it so that's the cool thing about this is it's not really exclusive to one thing. It's right. literally what people are playing. Right. You know what that's I mean? That's pretty cool. So, so you wherever the people decide, are, at, yeah. wherever yeah. the population is, just yeah. man a tournament, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Another quick shot: Starfield Dude. 2021. Yeah. So that's I mean, news. that's that would technically be Bethesda's first exclusive IP, right? Yeah. Like that. That's that's we we think that's going to be an exclusive one, right? Since oh, you think that Xbox is going to make it exclusive? Yeah, they got to. I mean, if they declared right, if they declared, hey, we're going to make shit exclusive, you know, in the coming future, right? Starfield hasn't been announced for like any specific system, as like uh, uh you know, like oh, it's only on PlayStation or whatever. Yeah. So I would think that if it's anything remotely that's got an inkling of a buzz like Starfield. It would have to be an exclusive. I really don't know. I don't. It's more than like. It's more than just asking yourself. You know, will it be and whatnot. It's about is what does Microsoft? Event? Yeah, what does Microsoft want? What are they? What is their goal? Is their goal to sell consoles? Is their goal to sell copies of the game? Is their goal to sell Game Pass subscriptions? I don't know what their goal is. You know, like I mean, so it really depends on what their goal is. But you gotta be careful. I think. Because you don't want to piss people off too much at the same time, right? <laughs> but so I mean, I it's think, just like, like Sa- Santa Monica Studios. I really you know? like the like, Outriders model. Uh huh. If you come to us, it's free, but we'll let everyone else play it if they want to pay for it. Like, I think that's like a decent model, right? Okay, we're gonna make Starfield free. If you want to come play it for free, then come to us, and that's like a super great selling point. But we're not gonna piss everyone off and not let you only play it here. You can buy it for your PlayStation, but you got to pay for it. That is a good model, I think. But you were saying yourself that most of the time there isn't a real reason why you should get like an Xbox over a PlayStation because everything that's out for the Xbox is out for the PlayStation, mm-hmm. except like a small handful of things where there's more exclusives on the PlayStation. But I think the more and more games that are AAA that come mm-hmm. to Game Pass day one. You think that that will be more of an enticement to get I an Xbox? I think that will make people want to buy because I think at that point... At least point, Game Pass. I yeah, don't know about I, Xbox, I feel like it would be selling more of yeah, a Game Pass game than pass. anything. Yeah. And then you'd be working on... You'd be hoping that the cloud is, that's is my pretty opinion. active to allow you to play. My opinion is that I think they want to sell Game Pass subscriptions. I think that's my total opinion. I don't know what their opinion is. I don't know what their goal is. I would think they want to get that subscription count up. Yeah, <clears throat> my opinion is along the lines of, of race. Um, they want to sell subscriptions, number one. Right. And number two is they want to make their cut from software sales so i think Mm -hmm. they're in the early infancy of they just bought bethesda for billions of dollars Mm -hmm. so they're kind of like all right we need money right now we know not everyone has Mm -hmm. game pass yet we know not everyone has xboxes yet so let's cast the net wide for now you know maybe starfield 2 will be exclusive when they start seeing all the return on their investment so i think it's kind of a little too early for them to start especially with starfield 
could be a flop, to be honest. Right. So I, I hear what you guys are saying, but mm-hmm. at the same time, like, okay, at the beginning of the this mention of Bethesda getting purchased by Microsoft, right? There was no breath about from them about you know having exclusives. They were like, nah, you know, whatever. Yeah. Stuff Bethesda has lined up. We are keeping it like that. We are not changing nothing. And I believe what what uh, uh, Ryan said or whoever the guy is, yeah. the main guy. Yeah. All contracts um, are being fulfilled. Right, right, right. Yeah. So if that's the case, why now mention hey, Bethesda's doing exclusives now? Like why? Especially when you have the the notification that hey, Starfield is coming out this year. You know what I mean? Because that seems mighty convenient that you would bring out. A Starfield announcement that is coming out this year, late in the I'm year, shocked right after the fact that you just said that Bethesda is doing Microsoft only exclusives. I just think seems kind of like it would it would be like I think it's Microsoft <clears throat> trying it's to convenient. keep the window open to exclusives, like they're not trying yeah. to shut it off. But I tend to agree with Mark though. I think it's too soon, man, to like piss people off. I just think it's too soon to piss people off. I do think there will be a point when you can. Yeah, totally. There will be a window when you can just like, nope, this one's exclusive. And people will be like, okay, well, that's just how it is. But I think it's a little too soon, man. Like, it's too much change too quickly hmm. for people. People are definitely used to getting their Bethesda games on their PlayStation, you know? Okay. People are used to that. And I think, like, you got to be careful because you want, you want those customers. Like, yeah, you totally. want those PlayStation customers. Yeah, you They're would not think like your that enemy. they would. Right. You want them, you know, it's, right. it's, it's just, you know, so, I mean, I don't know, but I agree. Like they made, it's like, a, there's like a, there's a, a, a conflicting like narrative here, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we want exclusives, but at the same time, no, everyone can have this. It would <laughs> just, know? so it is weird, right? Yeah. But it would just seem just like it's if, too soon, man. if I read an article that says, oh, but there's an announced that they're going to have, or Microsoft announces that they're going to have, but there's the exclusives. And then. Within the same week, I hear, oh, Starfield's, Starfield's coming 2021. out 2021. I would be thinking, oh, shit, that's the first <laughs> exclusive. Yeah. I got to go get me an Xbox. Or I definitely I gotta, think you know, Microsoft is cracking the whip, though, man. Like, they want some <laughs> games done. Yeah. Like, we were Come joking. on, we need a game already. <laughs> yeah, like, right? we were joking <laughs> we in the in the chat. It. they like, yeah. God damn, man, 343 is just blowing this shit. <laughs> hey, but that's a, I need you to step up, dude. Like, <laughs> I need you to give games, me a game man. this year Something that I can put out. Yeah, we need a game already. Make people want the system, you know? huge announcement. But I think Ray is right, because, like, Think of this. Like, you go to a restaurant, right? And, uh, I mean, you know avocado's extra, but you see a sign that says avocado's extra. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You ask for it. You get to the cash register. They give it to you for free. You're happy. <clears throat> but if you get, you know, a couple scoops of avocado and then you get to the register and they charge you, you know, four, five bucks extra, you get pissed off. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking it's the same thing. They got the sign up there saying that, you know, exclusives. But whether they deliver on exclusives or not, <clears throat> if they do have exclusives, people aren't going to be mad. Mm-hmm. But if they happen to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, not make exclusives, people will be met, uh, you know. Right. So I think they're just doing damage control. They don't want people to be too pissed off yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it's political. So you yeah. think you know, it's just like extra heads up that we will sides. eventually have yeah. yeah, it's like it's like talking on both sides of your mouth. You're trying to appease your base. Yeah. Right. You know, like the politicians will talk to their base and then they'll talk to everyone else. Right. Yeah. yeah totally. It's like what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, yeah, all our Xbox. You know, fan base will have exclusives. You're lucky, right? If you have an Xbox yeah. talking to you, mm-hmm. and then on the other side of their mouth talking to the Sony guys. Oh no, we're gonna let it. Yeah, Death Loop. That's still exclusive, to you guys. Oh yeah, Starfield. You'll be able to play that <laughs> if you pay for it, right? And they get their yeah. software sales. Like I just think they're trying to just they're trying to talk to everybody. It's very political. So right? so then you guys, I, I guess it's safe to assume <clears throat> that you guys think that it would have to be a totally new IP that hasn't even been mentioned before. That would be an exclusive. Yes, that's when yeah. I can see them do that. Because then Bingo. nobody can get mad because nobody yeah. was psyched right. up about it. That's nobody my, knew shit yes. about it. So yeah. it's exactly. like, oh, here's something. Exactly. This is an exclusive. Which is why, like, the same exact thing with, like, they Bloodborne, everyone understood. Okay, that's Sony's. But if you made Dark Souls all of a sudden exclusive, exclusive yeah, that would, to PlayStation, that would make people mad. I that's you. not good for your fan base. Yeah, right? for sure. Okay. So, yeah, I think it's exactly right. If it's something that hasn't been announced or people don't know about, I think – then they can make it exclusive. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, one more, one last quick shot that we got is uh, Marvel's Avengers. I don't know who's still playing that <laughs> shit, but, so but they, they decided yeah. that they were going to finally introduce uh, the Black Panther to finally come into the right. game. Right. There yeah. was some other character um, too, right? Well, they did. They did recently. Hawkeye. Hawkeye yeah. That was. Oh, that dude. shit was announced so long ago, like Finally. when they first dropped the game. Yeah, before it to come that was the one part like, uh, like two weeks ago. It's like, Jeez. damn, bro, what's the deal? Um, but yeah, they announced that, and then they also decided to give us the opportunity 
to play oh, as a whole so team generous. of the Hulk. Wow. All Dang, together. So generous. In a squad, Dang, yeah. So I was uh, I was definitely Standard shocked feature. that they finally decided to add <laughs> that obvious thing into the game, right? But yep. I mean, is this is that shit even enough to like make you want to play it? No. Nah. It has to be free for me. Yeah. There's gotta be. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's kinda bugging me today. We've been talking about this for a while, but there's just too many microtransactions and little nickel and diming in this game. Yeah. Like for them to charge you and then charge you. I'm surprised the they don't end. charge you for this feature that's limited time. Like, all right, guys. Yeah, 499 and you it? can activate <laughs> yeah. this feature, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like for a consumable you got to pop yeah. or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, permission. It's like you buy a stack of them. It's like 50 cents for, for <laughs> each consumable. Or it's just like yeah, a skin. Totally, Mark. Yeah, it's just dude. a new totally, skin dude. that makes you look like the other character, yeah, but you're still shooting bows skin. like Hawkeye as, as uh, the Hulk or something. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like, yeah, I totally agree. Let's make a bet, right? Taking bets, taking bets. How many months do we have until this song game pass? <laughs> right? How many months? I say six. Right. Six months. Like six months. it's gonna it's gonna happen, right? Like it's gonna come to Game Pass soon. Yeah, right? it's gotta be, man. I think that there's something going on with Square Enix and freaking Xbox, man. Because there's been a lot of little things yeah. coming on the Game Pass That's recently. True. You know, dude, some of these small games waves are like of surprising. It. I didn't. It's weird seeing Outriders as a Square Enix game, right? Right. It's like there's some weird, weird, yeah. There's some weird games like yeah. going on with Square Enix. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, there's something weird. Yeah, I mean, I heard, I heard like maybe you know, that's like the a, big purchase coming, right? Right. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I heard like a side note that it was kind of like uh, it was Konami and Sega that they were looking at mm-hmm. as possible purchases, okay. which you know, I, I guess there's been a lot of Sega games there's on the Xbox lot. and yeah. whatnot, and you know, Konami. That's cool and all, you know what I mean. I'm not yeah, like really not like huge fan, crazy about them, but cool, you know, whatever. I guess it'd be cool. Maybe they come out with some it's new IPs name, and stuff. But right? yeah. I mean, yeah. if if they were doing Square Enix, you know, that'd be pretty big. Really big. I like you that. Know? I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out. Yeah. You know, but yeah, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the main topic. Some meat here. Uh, yeah. So we were already talking about Outriders, you know, Game Pass. But yeah, so Outriders will be releasing Woo! on Game Pass day one. That's right, crazy. so but for um, console only, right? Console, yeah, console only, console only. only. Yeah, console yeah. and uh, their cloud-based system. But that's I don't cool. know Just how. Console, but how, yeah, yeah, that's how cool. uh, you know, good yeah. their yeah, cloud yeah. is gone. You know, that would be for like your phones, tablets, right. things like that. Yeah. So I mean that and um, what is it the the yeah the extra oh, Game Pass editions and whatnot. You know, there was like almost. What, like 10, 10 games or something like that that was on Game Pass. How really many, good Game Pass. How many games. new ones were there? Yeah, Let's like uh, the main ones oh, I thought like, like a Squadron, Star Wars Squadron. I thought because you had always talked about that. that's free yeah, now. So I've been waiting for that one to it's, come. Yeah, to Game I know Pass. you've been waiting. That's so free. I'm it's excited, free, dude. So you got Undertale. Oh yeah, Undertale. You got that's Yakuza Six, yeah, right? That's a good uh, one. Uh, that's a, yeah. Narita Boy, um, Empire and Sin, or Empire of Sin. Never heard of that one. Uh, I haven't either. And then also Octopath Traveler, and Genesis. That's Noir. a great game. So I, I mean, I've never heard of Undertale. Uh, Narita Boy, Octopath, Genesis Noir, um, Empire of Sin. You know what I mean? I never heard of those. Yeah, so yeah. those are all new to me, but it seems like a lot of them are indie games, right? Like, uh, is Octopath Traveler an indie game? No. I think was it's that published Square Enix? by Square Enix, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so another Square, I thought it was yeah. a Square Enix game that's yeah, come yeah. up? Yes, yeah, Octopath that was on Traveler was a big one. Yeah, that was on the Switch. That was, that was a Switch, big one. Right? That was exclusive to the Switch yep. okay. for many, many years. And I always wanted to play it because it was an RPG, yeah. one of those standard it's a great game. RPGs. A lot of people really liked it, but I didn't own a Switch at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was like, I really want to play that game. So here, and that's coming to Game Pass, that's Microsoft, nuts, like of all places. Right. That's was shocking weird. to me, which is like, what the heck, dude? Like, Game <laughs> Pass is one. so sick. Yeah. I can't ever stop talking enough about Game Pass. Best deal I am so excited about Outriders, man. Yeah. Like, and I, mean, I was not really, like, I was. I was along the lines of you guys when you had mentioned it in the show. Right, right, right. About, I don't know if I'm willing to pay 70 for this. Yeah, know, I guess you can just give us this. our thoughts on it because you played um, Outriders, right? Yeah, so I played Outriders. And at first, I did not like like the story. I'm like, why are you pushing me through so much story in the beginning? I want to fight. Like, you remember when you played there Destiny? There was a lot of yeah. cutscenes. Remember like, in Destiny, God. they threw you right into the game. And you have your gun out and you're going. 
Yep. Yeah. And you're shooting. I want to shoot. Like, give me, I want to go <laughs> yeah, shoot already. Mm -hmm. Like, so I was really kind of annoyed with that. And then, like, little technical things, like, wasn't the camera stinking shaky, dude? That's what I was saying. Whenever you're, yeah. like, watching I feel like scene, we were in a, like, uh, we were in a like, movie Tremors or something. Like, and it was, like, every single stinking cutscene cut was, like, like, shaky. I'm, like, what's going on with this? Like, this don't even, if they're trying to portray, like, action, that this shit is just annoying. It's not action. Yeah. For one, you got me sitting weird. here watching the bullshit. And then I got to sit here and look at this damn screen shaking. And, like, it's, come on. Man, yeah, what's going and on then with this? and then the graphics of of course are pretty underwhelming. They're not like Very. horrendous. Yeah. They're not bad. They're nah, passable. They were horrendous. They're just passable graphics. They're yeah. not like they're not great. It's not like Final. Fa you watch Final Fantasy seven VII and eight. I mean fifteen. Those yeah, new yeah. ones. Those yeah. are like dope graphics, right? Yeah. This isn't that. So it's kind of weird. But I will say there are some cool things. Like I did like the whole notion of jumping to the future, the time skip, right? Mm -hmm. So you get cryogenist and then you jump to the future. That's mm -hmm. cool. That right. was a pretty good catalyst. I didn't like the beginning when um, the lightning storm happens and yeah. then like the commanding officer was such a douchebag. Like I just like well, okay, and all of a sudden you're killing humans. I'm like, dude, come on. Like we're the last of humanity, and now we're just killing each other immediately. Well, it's because Why they were turned right by the stuff. No, they were just normal humans. They're just no in the very very beginning, like the very prologue story. When you're oh, running it was back, like another faction or something yeah, because like that. you right, disobeyed right, right. that general or whatever, and he thought you might have been contaminated, uh -huh. which you weren't. But he thought that, you know quarantine everybody, and you're like, come on, there's people out there dying. And he's like, just and he just turns and shoots like the commanding officer, uh -huh. that general, and then yeah. all of a sudden now you're fighting all the soldiers you came to this planet with. I'm like, come on, couldn't you have written this better? Let me fight some aliens. Yeah, Why do I have to true. all of a sudden fight my own fellow human? You all of a sudden make us my main enemy are the humans immediately like we just came to a foreign planet let me shoot some aliens <laughs> yeah i mean so i, I pretty really much like that yeah it's gotcha. pretty much like the whole concept of everything right but they it's just fixed fighting it though humans. they fixed the problem because they made the time leap and now humans have populated like the planet because it's been like you know three decades gotcha. and so people have populated the planet so now there's people but before it's like dude Planet Earth just died. We're the last of humanity, and now we're killing each other. I just didn't like that story. Well, it's that they were like up, up in the on like a little spacecraft or whatever, right? Yeah. Like a. But I'm just saying, we but human yeah. life needs to as be really like protected Earth, right yeah, now. Yeah. Like we're the last of us. You know, we're not going to all of a sudden just coming off. So now my main villain is my own people. We're just we just died. Anyways, they kind of fixed that. And of course, your main enemy still, as far as I've gotten in the game, is people. Yeah. Which I've mm -hmm. not been too happy with which that. You I want fought, aliens. You killed like one like animal. You or killed one like animal. That, like, yeah. Like one time, and then that was it. And it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be killing like beasts and things like that. And then it all just of a sudden, like you're a killing like power people and, and yeah, other stuff like that. Isn't it's it like, like a weird storyline? Like, honestly, we go to a, an alien planet and we're still fighting humans. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. weird to me. Yeah. That's so easy to fix. I don't know. It's easy to fix. But. I mean, at, at a certain point when I was like going through like all of the freaking cutscenes, mm -hmm. I started to be like, well, did I, I really don't give a shit. I just want to play the game. I want to fight. Like, yeah. I so agree. I was trying to skip like every mm -hmm. cutscene possible because it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. I know I have to shoot something. So who am I shooting? That's what I want to do right now is shoot. Right. I don't care if you give me like small cutscenes in different areas, but literally every action that you go to take has a cutscene. And it's like, There's God, a lot of cut Lee, that's, that's like, come on. I man. will say, though, that I did enjoy the combat. I was having quite a bit of fun shooting. Mm -hmm. And it was, there were a couple enemies that I don't think are very good, like the runners. I think you just have too much health. Um, your powers are pretty cool. I thought um, the powers was the best thing of the game. The powers were pretty yeah, cool. You know, I really enjoyed shooting. I was the sniper, so I enjoyed sniping people. That was pretty fun. Mm. Um, and I do like how every piece of damage you do heals you. Uh, or at least with the character I picked, every yeah. piece of damage I does heals me. And that's pretty cool. Like when that you're getting cool. loans, like I gotta find someone to kill, you know. I like that mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I did like I only got one blue weapon in my experience. Maybe you got the same one, but it's like a blue weapon and had like explosive rounds. So mm -hmm. when I killed somebody, they exploded. And that was a lot of fun. And I was like, dang, see, there's some potential there. Yeah, like, sure. the weapons seem really fun. Like, that's really cool. Like, that was really fun. So when I saw the preview, when I mentioned this is my, you know, most Because you were the one that was a little yeah, bit more Yeah, this is my most at anticipated. The combat I feel delivered. What doesn't deliver is the narrative. What doesn't deliver is the cutscenes. What doesn't deliver is graphics. the story. What doesn't deliver is the graphics. Yeah. But the combat and the powers feel fun. 
And I do kind of want to get to a point um, where I get to the end and I can do some of those little – people have like legendary – farms right, yeah, right and right, do right. a couple of those and try a couple of the legendary weapons. i mean people were farming yeah. legendaries yeah. in the damn demo yeah so, exactly you know. so i would yeah. like to maybe try a legendary on c but because the combat was pretty darn fun i'm pretty excited for this game nice. it seems like a good good one and it's a three fire team we it's wlg yeah. you know ready yeah wlg ready yeah right. uh, so i yeah. mean i for me i didn't i didn't like a lot of things about the game um, but I thought it was an okay game for like what it was, what it mm -hmm. started off as, or what it started off as so far. I think it's okay to play. Um, I think the fact that it's a new addition to Game Pass makes it more likely that I will play it because just from playing the demo, I was like, there's no way I'm yeah. paying $60 for this game. I just don't feel it's worth I it. I wouldn't pay 60. Um, I'd pay something, but not 60, I don't think. Definitely yeah, and then 60. I don't, I didn't, I, I got too much of a Gears of War feel on it, and I never that really liked it. That was fine Gears for me. I, 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 did, yeah. I, I don't mind that cut, that cover combat. It's very I like, like the cover. Division. It's like Division, Division 2. 2. Yeah, the game felt very that. much like Division 2, and we had a blast playing that. I feel like Division that. did it better, though, than Gears of know. War for me. At this really? felt very Division y yeah. to me. I don't think I like them both. Better, I like yeah. I I love Gears, Gears how it feels mm -hmm. for me personally. Yeah. Um and the division. For yeah, me I like great. I like them both so too. I like the yeah. style. It's a little more tactical kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's not like a running gun. You you can actually take a breath and think. Okay, what am I gonna do? So I like that style. But um, mm -hmm. I feel the same as you guys. I didn't play it at all. Once I started watching people play it and stuff, that was kind of enough for me. But I'm definitely gonna play it. You mm -hmm. know, on my X my last gen Xbox yeah. One X. Yeah. Um. Because I still have Game Pass. I just don't play my Xbox as much. And right. I got my PS5. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely going to play it. You know, I'm definitely down to play it with you guys. Because I love these, like, looter shooter games. Mm -hmm. Even bad ones are still fun to yeah. just play through once. You know what I mean? Dude, as long as you get the loot right, you could forgive a lot. And I think Absolutely. that's why I'm very forgiving. Because there's yeah. lots of problems. But if they get the loot right, I'm going to have fun, I think. Yeah, if I have fun sure. shooting these fun guns, I'm going to want to keep yeah, getting back to I sure. did. I did see some uh, – I did get interested with the loot, as you're saying, yeah. because I saw that, you know, like once you get to like blue loot, you start seeing That's loot that gives you like uh, extra Actual boost effects. to like mm -hmm. your, your uh, powers and yeah. stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, if I like using this power and this power – like I can just stack up yeah. on all armor and weapons that will give me extra extra special effects to these abilities, you right. know. So you can kind of have like you know like a devastator type of meteor strike right. combo or something right. like that, you know, where you have like a whole build for it, so yep. you can just decimate like huge areas or something like that, you know. I don't know exactly how. Yeah, it goes. I really liked how they added cool things even on blues, right? Because yeah. like that's really the only taste I had. Nothing I on the comments, I, I haven't but, tasted yeah, beyond blues. anything that yeah, yet, yeah. but right. blue. But just the blue was like. Wow, that was fun. Yeah. I want that already. Yeah, the again, itemization you know? is well done. Because, yeah. like, let's say a game in Destiny, more of those effects are mainly for, like, legend exotics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. this, they're actually putting exotic style effects exotic on just normal exactly. gear. That's so, what was so cool about it. Yeah. So, that's like, what's exciting. Yep. Yeah. Like you're saying, you can make legit builds just off of jank gear, which is cool. Because yeah. while you're playing, sometimes a carrot on the stick, like, oh, I want to get end game and then I'm going to get legendary. But it's cool that you can at least make builds as you're playing the game. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be just randomly getting stuff and now that's my build or, you know, at least that's what you're trying to collect. Yeah, or that piece drops. It may not be quite as better at the fire rate or the damage as your weapon, but you're like, oh, that is a dope FX. It makes my meteor strike do yeah. 10 times the damage. Right. You're like, I yeah. got to put that on, right? That's yeah. so much fun. Yeah. There's something else to look for than just like a power upgrade. Yeah. Like you're affecting your gut, way your guy plays. That's yeah. the funnest thing. Yeah. And I would say like one of the things that made me enjoy it more was just playing it with uh, my father-in-law yeah. because just having that extra person to play with uh, allowed me to play differently, you know, because I was the devastator, so I was able to run into the thick of the shit yeah. and, you know, and do some damage and cause some havoc yeah. and still be able to use the type of ability for my guy to be able to health regen because you have to kill stuff in close vicinity mm -hmm. in order to regen your right. health. But it's hard to do that when you have any and everything shooting at you playing solo. You die quicker. Right. But if, you know, when I had uh, him in there and he's, you know, playing back, you know, and shooting from afar, mm -hmm. I'm able to run in there and just kind of cause a lot more havoc, you know, up close. And, you know, to have so to have like a sniper and then somebody who's mm -hmm. doing mid range or whatever while I go in there and I play right. up close, you know what I mean? That will allow us to all. You know, be able to utilize yeah, you our, can see our the powers build. and stuff you like that. You can see that you're meant for a purpose. Right. Yeah. Which Destiny didn't really have. 
Mm-hmm. Everyone kind of felt the same. There's differences in the way you play it. Right, right. But right. it wasn't like, okay, they were that's like the your same role. Thing. Yeah. yeah, like you don't like, okay, make sure the Titan gets up there first before everyone else. You I weren't feel doing like, stuff like that. I Destiny. feel like you had roles, but only in the raids. Yeah. That's when you had the real yeah, role. Yeah, and it was very rare, too. It's like, okay, you need hunters for this. Right, yeah, or you yeah, need yeah. at right. least one But it wasn't like a mechanic in the world, right? Like yeah. World of Warcraft has it as a mechanic. Yeah, right. it wasn't like a necessity. It was like, right. okay, we can do this better if we right. have a hunter up there. We can do this better. But it's not like, right. oh, we need a Titan to drop a bubble here or right. we fail this, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. Yeah, so as far as, like, all of the extra additions to Game Pass... Um, I know you guys talked about Octopath Traveler. That's a Are there any game. other of the other ones that you're kind of like really interested in playing that you will give a shot to? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna probably play Squadrons. I'll probably for sure try Squadrons out. Okay, I definitely want to try Octopath. Yeah. There was one other one too that I really want to that, try. What's uh? You said Undertale was rated like yeah. really high. Yeah, a lot of people play that on Twitch. That's a pretty popular one. Yeah. Really? So mm. I want to give that a shot too. Yeah. Um. What was did you say that near autonoma or yeah near yeah Automata. near autonoma uh, was I heard PC, right? that was yeah. PC though so yeah, yeah. it's that one Torchlight three Torchlight, Torchlight 3, three and then Deadfire yeah. Torchlight three is like Torchlight a, like a good series. Superland Diablo, those are all PC but I'm not too hip on it right um but because I don't I'm not gaming on PC like I yeah. I don't care about those but I know you might you might want to give one of those a try I know near yeah. was a pretty cool game so no, near's yeah really cool. yeah I tried near on the Xbox like a year ago right right because it, it still is available yep. on the console but yeah that's so right that's just cool. on the PC but yeah that's what I'm saying that game comes out a year later on the PC <sighs> yeah yeah I'm trying to see here but uh, uh, there was nothing else squadrons squadrons is cool but I believe we got that for free on PlayStation right. No, didn't we? No, Mm-mm. it wasn't Dude, free. Why did I no, think it was free? free man. Uh-huh. PlayStation. Maybe nah, you're thinking not. Battlefront Two was free at one point, no. but um, but now know. this that hasn't been free yet. Okay, so that that's a welcome no, like, addition, and that's yeah. a VR game too. So. Right? Yeah. Or sorry. Well, uh, if you play on this, the PC, this <laughs> version, PC. yeah, isn't. But yeah. yeah, if you were playing it on um, PC, on uh, P- uh, PS5 or PC, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. do it. But um, yeah, there's you know, like five incredible games here. Like you have Outriders, Undertale, Squadrons, Octopath, and Near. Near's for PC, mm-hmm. but that's like really, really strong. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Just I heard like Yakuza a was like a good game too. To, yeah, to everyone likes with. Yakuza. I haven't got into it, so that I, might be a strong I, one. The right. one of the latest ones I downloaded on Xbox. I try to get into it. It's 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 pretty cool. But people um, like it a lot. Yeah, that's one I it's, don't have. It's enough pretty cool. On. Yeah, um, but uh, I feel like um. You know, this is has been consistently competition between Xbox and PlayStation, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So by the time we hear of news, you know, from Xbox, Xbox or PlayStation, yeah. we hear, you know, a response from the yeah. other. You know, it's like Xbox announces their announces their console. Shit. Next yeah. week, PlayStation, hey, we got one too in the cut. And it's <clears> damn near finished. You know what I mean? Whatever. But, you know, so Xbox announces mm-hmm. all of their stuff that they're coming out yep. with, adding on to the Game Pass, which is already there, by the way, if you're if you're wondering. Yeah. And then PlayStation, they've had this play at home initiative going on for like a little while now. Yeah. They had some stuff that they gave us for free right, in uh, 2020. Um, but, you know, and then they gave us another one towards the beginning of this year. They literally just gave us another one, um, I think, this month or something like that, right? Horizon Zero Dawn yeah. is now available 100% for free. free. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not part edition. of, like, the PS Plus or whatever. Yep. You just get yeah, it. Yeah, it's you all DLC, there, too. All it. the DLC. Yeah. Right, right. So it's, it's, really the, cool. it's the ultimate edition or whatever. Yep. Yep. And then on top of that, you have, like, a whole... 10 games, yep. I believe. Yeah, it's like they're just throwing games at us, man. Like both sides. <laughs> yeah. yeah free so, games for you. Yeah. Free games for you. But these ones are free. That's what I like. You don't yeah. need to have PlayStation Plus. Right. You don't need to it's have just, anything. That's, a, that's really right. cool, man. So, yeah. I mean, they've got Pez, Rezco. They've got that's Abzu. That's crazy. The Witness was the a $40 Witness, game. Into the Gungeon, which I've that's played. Uh, Subnautica. All these are great games. Subnautica is like a really good one. It's like a No Man's Sky, right? But uh, it's like in the underwater world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's so. a lot more limited, but yeah, but it's like an open kind of more it's like open. A, it's an open it's world. Like, yeah, you right. build your it's little a big massive world, right? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, big. Yeah, because this is one that I played on the Game Pass quite a bit. Like yeah. I got the People platinum like equivalent it, on like the game. game Pass, but yeah, it is pretty sick. Yeah, and then I was excited to see that Moss uh, for PlayStation VR uh, was free. Uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission for the VR was free. Uh, I've never heard of Paper Beast, but I Me might neither. give it a look. Is that, one that a one's VR a only? VR game okay. also. There's four VR games. And then Thumper. Uh, I think Thumper's a pretty game. big one. That one I've actually heard of, I think. That one I it's haven't like heard music, of either. Right? It's like it moves. Like it you might move be. It forward or something like 
that? <sighs> I'm not sure. Forward? I may give I it know. a try, but I do They're know that free, dude. I do know that people raved about Moss being like a really yeah. good PSVR yeah, game. Yeah, people mm-hmm. like Moss. And then Astrobot, I I heard was good of also. Yeah. So you know those two, just if if they just gave me those two for VR, is cool. Yeah, and the fact sure. that they're even giving you some VR games is nice because it just allows people to maybe get a little bit more of an interest to want to play the VR and experience it. You know what I mean? Cause you just have a yeah. couple of games now that you can play for free on it. You yeah. Know like I mean? that's really cool. Just free games for the VR, right? Like that's, yeah. that's a big deal. I think after these, I'll probably have like 10 or more VR, VR games. games? Yeah. Know, right. PS Plus. So I definitely want to buy a PS VR at some point, you know, mm-hmm. it's on my radar for sure. And I could say for certain, like the witness and the enter the Gungeon are like high quality games. Oh yeah really high quality games yeah. like i know you guys probably haven't played the witness yet but it's a great puzzle game i yeah, haven't, haven't played you know, the witness so but like, i did play into the gungeon and i had fun with that yeah, one i think yeah. we might have tried to play play it on the you know the co-op or whatever online yeah once or twice the gungeon's it's really right. cool it's a good i just think it's a little too hard but it's really great mm-hmm. it's a great game yeah. but it might it's be a, a tad one. hard but it's it's or just a tad less rewarding it's not about necessarily hard but they just need to give you a little bit more yeah, yeah. upgrades and then i think it'd be a really great game for um, sure so like that's some really high quality stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, for most absolute of, free. Yeah, most mm-hmm. of the non VR games were available on Game Pass, so that's one thing I kind of laugh about. Is oh. it at some point? Abzu time? was Game Pass. Um, mm-hmm. Subnautica Game Pass. Enter the Gungeon, I believe, is on Game Pass. I think so. Was um, it? Yeah, I can't remember. Like I own these, it. I don't know if I got yeah. it from Game Pass or if I bought it, but I play it yeah. a lot. I bought it on the Switch first. Well, the funny thing is, is if you got it on Xbox from Game Pass, you don't own it because as soon as they get rid of that <laughs> shit. You don't that was actually you, you just mentioned that that brought up a point I wanted to make about Outriders. I fear that that when they take it off. No, what if they do? What if they do take it At off? At some all point your in time in the future, what if they decide to remove it from Game Pass? I guess that's the caveat, right? With yeah. like you know the Catch Twenty Two with with getting games on the Game Pass, like playing them. That sucks. Is that if it's one of those lasting games, like you know Destiny Two or whatever? If they ever decide that they want to take Destiny Two off. Like your progression, then you'd have to buy the updated DLC terrible, stuff or whatever dude. and yeah. move it to PlayStation if that's what you had, you know, or you'd have to end up buying the game eventually. Yeah, but it seems like that's pretty rare. It's, you know, the only one I can think of is Red Dead Redemption 2. That probably annoyed a lot of people yeah. who were really into that. Like, they online. took it off? Yeah, they took it off. Mm. Game Pass. Didn't they take off? Um... See, I was thinking see, that they would remove indie games. I thought they used to have Grand Theft Auto. Uh, GTA Five was on there at some point. Probably. Um, I know Red Dead Redemption Two was, and they took that down. Yeah. Hmm. And so, if, like, if you had been building up your character, yeah, and they that's remove it, one. that it's sucks, man. Because that game holds its value too. Yeah, it's an extensive yeah. long game. But I mean, Red Dead Red Dead Two is is probably pretty cheap that you could buy it now. It's still right? like thirty, man. Yeah, I think it's still like twenty, thirty bucks. Really dollars, man. It doesn't go down, dude. Those Rockstar, those Rockstar games are always expensive. They always GTA is still like twenty, thirty, forty bucks. Thirty, forty bucks. That game came on the PS3 originally. He never. Yeah, I would. That's like you know, it just like even though Red Dead Redemption Two is a good game, I had a lot of fun with it. It's just if it's been out for so long, it should be like dirt cheap. Nah, man. Any other any other game would reduce heavily any amount so it's like yeah. why are you still trying to Supply poach us man. for like an old ass game but older value bro hey yeah, yeah but you know so i mean you know all of those lineups of games and whatnot and we mentioned the psvr games you know the fact that we got information right more information about psvr too you know mm-hmm. they sony decided to post on their blog pictures just pictures no video or mm-hmm. anything like that but we got images of the new psvr2 controllers and I was actually pretty stoked. Like, I, I I knew that it was coming out, you know, once they decided to give you a camera that does not work with your old PSVR headset. Yeah. You know, you know something. What, what the hell am I going to do with this shit? You know what I mean? Like, just because you gave me an HD is it really giving me that much better quality in my camera shot than the OG <laughs> one. You know, so they got that. Then there's, you know, a couple of other games that are coming out, like Squadrons and stuff like that, that are giving you access to, to VR. So, you know, then we catch, like, all of the little blueprints and different things that they're putting patents yeah, out true. for and yeah. stuff. And then now we finally see, finally see a controller. you know, what the controllers are looking like. They look like boxing gloves, almost. I don't know, man. I'm skeptical because they don't give us no information on them. Yeah. Well, they said that there was adaptive triggering, just like in the, uh, yeah, the haptic feedback or whatever, Uh just like in the controllers. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Um, I heard that uh, the orbs, 
the the orbital shape that they have are so that it can do finger tracking. So essentially, you would be able to hold it and use your fingers like that to possibly pull a trigger. It's so weird, to as me, opposed man. to like actually squeezing a trigger. I don't yeah, know. I just don't know if I can get excited about that. I mean, I'm we had sure. we had an inkling. Uh, they they just put a patent in for being able to use anything as a controller. Like you could take a banana and then they would give you like a, a button layout on it. And then you would be able to press those areas to use as a controller. Using your camera, right? Just yeah, camera, using like the, the camera. Yeah, yeah, the eye yeah. or something of that nature to do it. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're trying to do something with this. But the fact that you could go like this and it shows up in your PSVR game would be pretty sick. Be you know what I mean? Like in yeah. VR chat or something yeah. like that, that'd be dope. Maybe in VR chat system. You know, yeah. if you can if you can yeah. start using single digits to touch shit, like I think that would be ill. But yeah. you have to hold that controller while you do it. But it's you know, also it's like around weird. your hand. It's like formed around your hand. So Yeah, but, I, but you got to hold like, it in your hand. Yeah, 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 you have to hold it, but That's what's weird to me. I feel like it's a little different just because it's not sticks, you know, like the move controllers where you have to hold those. Yeah. Like I feel like you could probably release your hands and the rings would just fall on your hands. Yeah, but then it's not going to get it needs that space, right, to to see the movement. I think if it was like let's say it was resting on like the back sides of your hands, you still your fingers are still I know that's moving, why I would just rather have but, it like a wrist clamp. Like you you got these clamps and you put these orbs around your arms. Maybe right? there like is something clamps, like that. And now you're like that's that's pretty cool. It feels that would be it just felt more like a controller to me. Mm-hmm. Cuz you're still holding it and yeah. it's like yeah there's these orbs but you're still holding a controller and you're pressing buttons. How cool would it be if I was just like this clamp? Yeah. You know, a comfortable clamp. Yeah. That'd be that dope. Held it around your hand and now now that's dope to me. That's yeah. what I was kind of hoping. Yeah. This is weird. My thoughts are similar like a controller to me. Similar to Ray. Um I hated the button layout. Mm. So you yeah. know how there was I'm just going to say X and circle and then triangle square were separated. Right. That was very that weird. Me too. I was hoping that they had paddles on the back to like make up for, you know, extra buttons. Instead of those buttons. Yeah, yeah. Because I would want, you know, all the four buttons on one, you know, on we normally have it on our right, you know, right, thumb right, area. Right, right. Yeah. So I thought that was very unnatural. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like the fact that the moves had all four buttons on the controllers because I feel like it's too many damn buttons. When you're looking for something to press, right. like it's, I think you would and get you don't have your eyes to it. either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so what I mean. Pa- that's what yeah. I mean. I wish they had paddles too in the back. Paddles you know? would be nice, but at least the fact that they have, like, you know, that the the triangle and X are on this side, and then the square and the O are on this side. At least you know, you know where you need to be reaching at, and it's yeah. not that far from where your thumb is at. Yeah. To I just think it's very it. unnatural. Like it would be cool for your fingers to all your finger always rest on the thumbstick, and then your fingers rest on the trigger, and then you have your finger for your paddles with your mm-hmm. other, you know, because then like you, scuff paddle type shit, or, yeah, so, or whatever. So then you never have to move your, you don't have to worry about moving stuff around. It's just my hands always rest like that, mm-hmm. you know. That's we're just speaking in terms of controller, but like right, Ray was right. saying, it would be cool if you know you could just yeah, do all the gestures and stuff. That would be dope stuff. if there was some type of bracers, yeah, or whatever, yeah. where you could take your hands off of the controllers. But feels, I don't think it, you'd have as much still, movement in your hands with the controller. It just feels too much instead. like um, a controller, like a console. It hasn't quite like made the leap. It still feels too much yeah. like a switch, maybe. Right? Because the switch is kind of already doing this yeah. whole yeah. grab it in one hand, grab it in the other, and That's press true. buttons on it. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, they're they're doing some innovation, but it would have been cool if there was like a little bit, a little bit more VR. And also, like, I still think there's a game problem because, like, you don't seem to you play it, but it seems like very occasionally. Well, it's so the issue is is that there's so many good games that don't use the VR that I end up playing. Yeah, so there's a game that I want to play yeah. the ones that do use VR. I just didn't get around to them yet because I'm still yeah. playing the ones <clears throat> that yeah. don't use it. Now, if they can fix that by, um, you know, putting in the feature that every game that's a first person would utilize the PSVR two headset. You know what I mean? And controllers that, it, you know, that it's like a simple, you know, it's an addition on there that you can select that that's the controllers you want. You know, kind of like however Squadron's doing it, you know, however mm-hmm. Hitman's doing yeah, it. Yeah, there's different controllers you, know? you can use. Yeah, yeah. If you can just yeah, choose I was saying, your like, controller, if, like, then that's the good. The idea I had with the clamps on the wrist was just like an, a, a, a use for some games. Mm-hmm. Like not every game. And then maybe some games you will just use the controller because it's not there yet. Right. But like having more choices to make it feel more, you know, unique would be really cool. I don't know what to do about the game problem, but there's a game problem, I think. So that's what's weird to me. It's like, what do you think, especially like you, Stone, like both of you, like about them doubling down on this VR2 stuff? Like, 
Well, I don't know I, how I feel about it. I feel like it was a flop. Well, and I didn't like doubling think, down on a flop. I think the the flop is the fact that you didn't have enough developers creating good things for it, right? You right. know, like I was excited that Saints and Sinners had came out for, you know, the PSVR and stuff like that. So those are like full games, you know, full content stuff. The fact that you have a regular game like Squadrons that you could play in VR is nice because they made that a full game. Yeah, but where's that? They where, where that. are they fixing that? It's still a problem, right? Well, it's a problem currently, yeah. but we don't know as far as like the new games that are coming out once this thing comes out or is closer to releasing, how many games will just start adapting to having that uh, extra addition added on. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much it will. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, porting it will take to be able to make it accessible on the PSVR. But I do know that because of the fact that they're making less cables and things like that for the PSVR 2 headset, which, you know, was reported where they would use like a USB type C, Mm -hmm. you know, so that it's not as much required because, I mean, you don't know because you don't have the the, the, mm-hmm. the OG PSVR, but that bitch got like six different cables, I man. It, man. Like I you got it. you got one coming from the TV like to Jackson this little Matrix, box. Dude. You got a cable <laughs> coming from the box to your PlayStation. You got yeah, a cable here, uh, a cable, cable here, yeah, yeah a two ply cable that comes <laughs> to the uh, to the VR much, headset man. that Just plugs like, in. Plus like, you got a USB Type C port yeah, yeah. that you got to plug in too to the to the PlayStation. It's like, yeah, damn, like why am i plugging so much shit in like i'm so restricted you know and uh so like it's a lot of problems but yeah but i think they're gonna fix some things i so wish that it had just been wireless i wish that they would have been able to get wireless for it but i you know they barely have wireless headphones so you know a lot of battery power but it's a lot of battery power but i mean like i said before like if you're able to allow me to go wireless by just telling me that the power unit is the only thing that's hindering me and that I can plug like some mega 30,000 milliamp battery on my hip <laughs> that will give me like good playtime on it, then I would totally rock a backpack yeah. with a battery on that bitch. <laughs> Be hot yeah. as hell playing it, but I, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll use that sucker to try to, to run my headset. Right? Yeah, I've been waiting I mean, to they get- do it with the yeah. Oculus, right? The Oculus yeah. uh, Quest and all that stuff. So it's like, why can't we get that same concept? You know? Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to get into the VR area just because now I have over ten games, so I have like a decent reason. I think the games will always be the problem. Yeah. So as as long as VR exists, right. the catalog of the games is going to be small, and the I guess the scope or the quality of the games is always going to be limited as well. Because let's face it, it's harder to develop a VR game than it is a non VR game. So you're always at that mercy. But I feel that potentially with the PSVR two. I'll get it day one if they let us use it with our PCs because I feel like that's also hindering it too because you can get – not No versatility on it? Yeah. There's like no versatility. Do you mean you know? play the games from PC? No, I mean like use it on your PC and if you want to get like uh, VR games or PS Now or whatever on your PC, it would be cool to have some versatility with it because like now if you get a, you know a Quest, right? It's like 300 bucks. Right. You don't need any extra hardware. It's just all in the headset. Right. And it's pretty versatile. You could use it on any computer. What would you use it for on the computer? No, I'm playing games. To play the, the, the PC But I'm games. saying it would be cool to, be to use the PSVR the computer, so. uh-huh. because it, the, you know, the rumor is it's only going to be one cable. It would be cool to use it on your PC to play VR PC games as well. I just mean I wish I had a little more oh, utility. Oh, PC, the, the games. You want yes. PC games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that I agree. I thought you meant yeah. just, just to play it on your PC. No, no, no. Sorry. I meant to be able like let's say I buy a PC VR game and – my PS VR two, I would like it to be. Yeah, compatible. I know. There's lots of problems with exclusivity too. Yeah, like you can't play Half Life Alex. I bet you would have loved that on your yeah. VR. That was like a ten. A lot of people gave it a yeah. ten. Yeah, and they said it utilized the VR mechanics better than any game has done yeah. yet, and it was or really just even VR chat, a free VR. But you, game. Yeah, but you can't use yeah. any of that on your PS VR. Mm-hmm. That's so annoying. Yeah, and then there's some games you can't play on your Oculus, right? That you can't play on your. There's too many, I think, little going going yeah. around right now. They need to be they need to be joining forces. Yeah, there's too many VRs going around right now. For everybody to capitalize yeah. on yeah. the benefits of it. Yeah. So because I mean, if you had some dope games like that, then yeah, then I would honestly maybe consider it. Because yeah, it's it's actually they're not like they're not part of your console. They're a completely separate console. 
So they're asking you to buy an additional console on right. top of your PlayStation. And that's Which smart. I mean, when it's you look sell. at the price, when it's three hundred dollars, yeah. you know that's a whole that that bitch is on its own. Like that's yeah. that's yeah. an sure. extra addition. It's a whole. It's new not console. like an accessory that's like maybe a hundred bucks. Yeah. You're talking about something that's three hundred dollars, and the console costs four hundred. Yeah. It's like, damn, you know what I mean? That's that's another one. You know that you guys are asking me to to participate in you know i so. think that a lot of people think this seems like public funding or something it's like one of those things man that like yeah you want to you want to advance right you want to advance the industry you want to do that right but there isn't really a market yet because the technology is not there yet to like produce these high quality awesome games mm -hmm. they're all like low res lower quality um or like gimmicky you're not playing, right, like we were talking like about. Like it's that full game. You're not playing Red Dead Redemption, right? You're not playing these full yeah. games on VR, which we all dreamed of. Right. I want to be in Skyrim, and I want to, like, look around the world in Skyrim, right? You can. That's, we're not there yet, really, for the a lot of these cool games. We were thinking maybe Hitman 3, which we don't have a review on that yet. Some of these yeah, games we were Hitman hoping. But Hitman 3, you're using the controller Yeah, but just like a headset on, like, right? Damn. We were hoping yeah. that you can, like, you know, use your hands and stuff. Yeah, I so, want to strangle them up. Like, so I don't ah, know, man. It's like because you, know I mean? you have to sell to make the funding. <laughs> yeah. And then you need the funding to make it better and produce it. And they're just, I don't know, man. I'm not sure. All you yeah. need is a big company like Bethesda or, you know, one of, like, you know, Somebody Sony's, like, a loss big on it, studios. A big loss on it. Well, you don't even have to take a loss, but you just you need a to. big name studio to create an IP that just, you know, is strictly for it that, you know, would, would look good. You yeah, know but I mean? the like, thing is, why? When I could make that, I, when I could, why spend my dollars? Manpower is dollars. Why spend my dollars producing a game for a system that barely anyone's playing just to get it started? That's what I mean, like by public funding. Yeah. Like someone needs to kickstart it, right? Or like, or I can make, spend my time making Starfield that, a hundred million people can buy. I want to sell the game that a hundred million people can buy, not five million. Or I don't even know how many people have VR systems. Yeah. Right, but but that's why we you know we say that or that I say that they should just be making it so that you could play it. They should do a No Man's Sky where it says, oh hey, now you can play this game. On I think that the I VR. think that takes a like, lot more development than yeah. I think you might be considering. I yeah. think so, but at it the totally same does. time, they're sitting there uh, using manpower and whatnot to fix like random glitches and stuff like that so it's like but it's developed why wouldn't you I think put it takes, somebody it's on almost that like redeveloping i think because yeah. you have to have the controllers you have to have it's a huge endeavor i think to What's fashion the, a game yeah. for vr capabilities. yeah i think when you design the game you you have to say are we designing it for vr yes. as well you can't just make a game and be like all right we're gonna add vr after the fact right so, i don't think that's possible so no man's sky the people who did no man's sky are they mm -hmm. a big studio or a small studio they're small okay so they were able to make the PS the the PlayStation VR yeah. version of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, my only thing is I have to try it. I still I still need to try it. Yeah. Um, but I want to check out how it's playing now when I just play with the controller and if I can pause it and switch my controller set to the PS VR and see exactly how that is or if it completely changes the way I play it. If it's like a smooth transition where all of a sudden I turn my PS VR, I put my headset on and boom, I just press uh, start to unpause it and I'm able to play again in my PS VR and it's the exact same thing, then they got the they got the blueprint. They, you can't tell me that there's no reason you're gonna why see, they couldn't get that. Well, go and play No of Man's Sky. With these other big ass ones, you yeah, know? for sure. Go and play No Man's Sky, and I bet you it's like controller based still. You think so? But you're probably just using your headset, mm -hmm. and maybe you can look around. They might have added that feature. Yeah, I have but to like, see. There's I definitely lots have to check of things I think that go into making a game VR good. Like, yeah, you, you can have just to get make, your physics right. You can just make it stuff, right, like a screen. So you can put it on your screen, which is probably what they did with Hitman 3. Very lazy port. That's what they did, yeah. Right? That's what they did. And you're just playing the game. But see, that's the problem. Like, it's like, I think you have to like, okay, we're developing this. Because there's so much, I think, all the physics, like everything has to go into it. Yeah. And like, you, that's a lot of, that's a lot of zeros and ones, man. It's like, it's like, you can't tell me that all of the effort that Grand Theft Auto has put into their five. Grand Theft Auto 5 or whatever. Like, just in the online community and stuff like that. You can't tell me that they couldn't have just taken a break and then just put all that effort into making the yeah. VR version. Yeah. To, to make it so that when you played the first the first person version that they've given you now, that that wouldn't be in VR. Yeah, but, and then you could play yeah. online. But what Ray was kind of saying was they could, 
but why would they spend all that time when only like 10 people are going to play it when they could just spend that time developing GTA 6 and which a million people it. are going to play or adding more things to GTA 5 yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like right if like okay if you if you had the game on the console right your game sells like millions and millions and millions of copies or whatever yeah. but you are able to take your game that sold millions of copies and then make it available on the the VR headset just cuz you your yeah. game would be the only one getting played on the VR headset. Like yeah. like you would then own that market as far as like PlayStation's concerned. They'd be like, oh well shit. You boosted our our gameplay or our sales or whatever. Like people are gonna ship bricks if you could play GTA in VR. Yeah. And you were actually using your hands to come up and shoot That's run, a lot of development, all of that dude. stuff. It would be a That's lot of awesome. development, a but I'm telling you development. it would be worth it for them. Like they've already got everything. It would be worth there. it for. It would be worth it for play. Rockstar. Yeah. I don't think it'd be worth it for Rockstar. That's my point. Yeah. Because if they if they it's put, a lot of man hours. Yeah, why like, why do you put so many man but, hours into the online version of it? Because they're they make making money. tons of money, dude. Yeah. You could still make that money though. No, because people have to go out customers. and buy the VL system. Yeah, you have to actually own so the system. So you telling me somebody in Rockstar uh, that's the head of Rockstar couldn't work out some a deal with uh with PlayStation like hey. We get like a cut of all of the VR headsets that you sell from now on. Like you give us a cut. And no, we'll I'm not talking about that. You have to. People have to want to go out and buy it. Yeah. So I have to spend five hundred dollars for my PS5, and I gotta spend three hundred, probably four hundred for my VR2. Mm -hmm. No one's doing that. Yeah. So I think it has to be like it has to be like the new system is P VR. Right, like it's just so the standard. next gen is just yeah, VR. like the that's next it. gen is just and VR. Plug up to yeah. the yes, system. or if that's, it just comes with it for free, or if it comes, yeah. like, that's what I mean. It has to just be that way, or it's never going to take off. Yeah. It's going to flop every time. Okay, people yeah. won't buy a thousand people. There's some people buying a PS5 scalp. They're scalping buying it. Right, but the vast majority are like Mark and us who waited. Right. And we're not going to overpay. You would never like. There's many people are not going to pay over. They'll wait. Mm -hmm. They'll just mm -hmm. play their PS4s, right? Right. And so like that's what I'm saying. That's the problem. That I don't know, have, man. Like, them stimmies just things. hit. They might. They <laughs> might have been. A, just, they yeah, they yeah, might have got like a boost the future, of PS5. You might like you know? buy a system that you weren't able to buy before. Yeah. yeah. But that's not a market. You, yeah. you, you can't build a. You can't build a market or. A, it's not a, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you can't build a business model right off hoping for STEMI checks in the futures, right? Like so. I don't know. The future needs to either be VR or console, and at some point it might transition. But right well, now, you're saying they would have to just dedicate everything. Yeah, to and that I think Sony is to prosper. Gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of like Sony; they're spending money on this, but I just think that they know it's not going to be great. I mean, if they came out, it like just transitions. Yeah, the barrier of entry is too high for mm -hmm. VR for most people. So I think if the the technology gets really cheap, like mm -hmm. you know, and they're able to just throw it in, or it's like fifty bucks, a hundred bucks. Because yeah, like Ray's saying, three hundred bucks—that's a big barrier I for mean, most. That's still why I've never got it, and yeah. I'm a gamer, dude. Yeah, and it's like I just don't feel that's like expensive spending accessory. that much yeah. money on even like an Oculus too. It's like I've seen it's like that's too much still. Like it's yeah. just too much. That's more than I want to spend. But Squid, so he loves VR. Okay. Right. But here's one main feature why he loves VR. Shout, Shout out, out to Squid. Squid. <laughs> so he has his Vibe or whatever headset. Yeah. You know, Oculus or Vibe, whatever. And he pirates all the games. Okay. So he plays all the VR games for free ninety nine. Granted, they're offline. Right. So is the developers happy that no, all their not games are not getting a cut for it? Nobody's happy. <laughs> no nobody's one's happy. happy they get no pirated. Yeah, no one's yeah. happy with that. Yeah. Squid's happy. Squid. Squid's happy. <laughs> yeah. But my my point but is, like, user is happy. <laughs> yeah, the user until the developers are like you know we're done doing this and then the user isn't happy anymore. Yeah. yeah. So that's the problem. The more people that do that, the less incentive there is to yeah. develop the games to begin with, and you have less now. Yeah. But all the VR games, he was telling me, there's like. Sites that just all the VR games are mass pirated. You know what I mean? Wow. So maybe. So, so is it a VR problem primarily? It's a PC problem at that point. I don't. I don't know. But I just think it's weird that literally day one games he'll he'll be getting it in weird. VR. I'm, I'm like, what the heck? Because I mean, that's not you know. But right. there's communities for just you know? pirating. You know, all the VR games. Maybe the developers don't crack down because it's like, hey, there's ten people pirating it. Eh, squid, enjoy. You know, it's not <laughs> worth our, it's not yeah, worth our there's time. Only ten people at some point in time, though. That sounds like that's weird. Like it's a like it's a VR thing. Yeah, like it's for weird, some reason, it? all the VR games are just instantaneous. Are like there's a problem with them. 
Maybe that's part of the coding because the VR stuff. They there's probably like don't problem. have a lot of encoding. Yeah, there. there's probably something there. I have no idea. That's funny. Yeah, but it's just interesting, you know. Well, then, uh, yeah, I mean, he has the whole library for free. Then it's not costing him anything additional yeah. than the. So product. he just gets the headset. But I mean, that's not reality for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like, oh, I would like to play Half Life, Alex, but I have to buy but, yeah. a 300 dollars system. But one to thing play too it. is he was saying for one of the new headsets he got, which it doesn't connect to your hardware on your PC. It's mm. just all in the headset. Yeah. That one uses some service. So, so that's you, the quest. Yeah, I think it's the quest. Back so quest. you street kind of stream the games and you pay a service. So that one's not really like hackable because, you know, you're paying a, a right. service for. Right. So I think that might be a way people go in the future. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, yeah. I think it's just too early. I think we're not quite there yet in the VR. You yeah, know? I think I think that if uh, if PlayStation was to have like a new wave of uh stuff (laughs) if playstation was to have like a new wave of uh vr games that just came out like they didn't have anything else coming out but it was just like a good solid three months of like vr games i think that that might try to help it because you know they're putting like you know titles behind it and whatnot but yeah you need great titles Again, i think you have to have the great games get vr ports to it right because that's gonna make people want to see what it's like and if you have people reviewing it you do it's like oh this is amazing i'm blowing heads off and i see you know all this stuff whatever you're doing yeah you have you're right you have to have the great games on the system but there's no incentive right now for the developers when they can make it for the ps5 yeah i want to make it for the ps5 that's what i want that's the audience that's where the that's where the hype is at I want to go there. I don't want to go here. And so it's hard to ask because I think it does take – I do. I just think it takes a lot of development to make a good VR game. Mm-hmm. Like there's lots of, lots that goes into it from it being – because I think I think you probably see the flaws even more in VR because if it's a little glitchy when you're moving yeah, your mind, like little, every little thing like you probably notice – and it's probably like very hard to develop well, a good game. You definitely have to put some work in. I mean, Skyrim was yeah, made hard. was also made for you know to be able to port yeah. to the VR. And so, you hated that port, right? Like, but sick the, or something. That the issue is like um, it the was combination of the game with the uh, the camera and all of that stuff. Yeah. Like, it didn't register my mm-hmm. movements properly because it wasn't ported um, well and whatnot. Yeah, so there's like the, a lot what of what did bugs the show fixed. throw like three developers into a room? Yeah. They didn't want to throw any resources at that, dude. It yeah. seemed like one of those like like gimmick kind of moves yeah, or whatever. And it's like, in room, oh, they you know, because Skyrim's it. been out for yeah. like a long time. A but long that's what I'm time. saying. Like, if you, it's been out for a long time, but you put like some people on it to make yeah. to make the version for VR. If you put a good team behind it, and they just do everything to just try to fix the issues, you know, keep adding some patches and stuff, like. It would help to sell if you're getting a bundle and it's like, oh, this one comes, you know, for the VR. But yeah. it has to it would have to be like a joint thing where you're able to buy one game and then it's got it all. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there might be a game that was coming out that you might not have had much interest in. But because it gives you a VR aspect, you know, it might get that extra person to want to purchase yeah. it. But you know? like but, I think like where you were saying with resources, you know, would you rather them make Fallout 4 have a VR or would you rather them instead just work on Fallout 5? I would rather them if you could on, only do one because, you know, time is limited. So I would rather them give me like uh, a, a new game or whatever and then give me that that option. So like if Bethesda's new game Starfield or whatever comes out with on day one it comes out with the regular version and then they also have it can play on VR I know but you're not understanding that I'm saying I don't mind I don't mind having something like from Bethesda three three four years from now like it's okay because they gave you a lot in this and they're they still got their team their team can only I disagree like expand on that like they can just keep putting Putting people behind it, they've done it. I totally disagree. Lot, I would, I would not want to wait an additional two years yeah. just so I can have the option to play it in VR. That's true. Because when I can play like the full too, game on my console, play for another all version. I'm yeah, yeah saying, but it's for just the same game, game like though. That. I'm not getting anything more. It's just another yeah. way to play. I'd rather them if instead of that just like make more DLC for the game that's like yes, available. But they're they're already gonna do that. But the fact the fact of the matter is, right, or what I'm assuming is that yeah. they have like Bethesda and then they have their group of people that are working on the game and then that group gets like halved. Right. They still work on the game. 
you know, doing updates and stuff like that. But the other half goes on to move forward and come up with a new IP I or a new version of the game. I'm okay with them just that. keeping I'm all not. of their people on there and making that game. They're going to keep the same people that they had on there, but they just making sure that the VR game gets better and better as well as the main game. So it's like everything is getting added on, but all of this stuff is getting That's all properly resources. ported You're and all that away. stuff. That's all resources. I'm not popping it away. I just didn't advance to a new title. Title. I'm saying don't you don't got to give me a new title next year. It's okay if you waited oh, three so years to give me then. a new yeah, title. That's why I disagree. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with t- wasting the time to do that. Yeah, just for sh- a choice. Shout out to my long, uh, my OG friend Joseph Cadella. I know, I know you're watching this podcast. Um, he's he worked on many VR games like Jurassic Park, VR, Coco VR. Okay. You know, maybe we, we could pick his brain because sure, he man. used to make games exclusively in VR. So maybe we could pick his brain to see, like, hey, what's the resources like compared to just developing a yeah, normal game? You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. we could just be speculating. Yeah, you know I mean? that's all we but are doing. It's our we don't, none yeah, of us have worked. It's our understanding that it's probably harder to make VR just because you know we're not seeing as much. Right. But you know, I'm I'm curious to see what you know he has to say because he I'm, actually worked on them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we already know that as far as like graphical requirements, right? It's a lot lower because of what they're outputting. You know, they're not outputting like 4K you know, type of stuff where yeah. you got to get that, that kind of heavy duty output. Yeah. You know, there's a lot there. of the, so the, P, the CPU it's a lot of computing that a lot of the motions and movements and stuff. Right. Yeah. So, so the, you there's, know, there's lots, that give and that take right, or whatever. Right. But yeah. at that point it's, it's more so. So not I feel only like do you have to develop Starfield, but you have to develop it on a rig that can handle yeah. the VR capabilities. I just, it's not feasible in my opinion. I don't think it is. And if it was, if it was easy, they would do it. Well, I don't think I don't think porting is easy, right? Because there's a lot of them that just come out with it on one console and then they eventually come out with it for the Switch. Yeah, but a lot of them get ported. Grade. I don't yeah. think it's as hard to port. Like it's not as hard to port, you know, just the game itself to Switch. Cuz a lot of the, a lot of the things tra- uh, translate between yeah. some of the PS- engines yeah, and Yeah, the stuff. things translate yeah. between Switch. I don't think things translate between PS5 and PSVR as well. Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot more. Yeah, maybe your world, the assets, the populated of the world, but, like, the way it, it works, I think it's completely different. I think it's completely different. Yeah. You know, process. And so I would definitely rather them give me Fallout 5 next year than not, just so I can have the choice to play Starfield in VR. Like, I would much rather have the new, the new game, the whole new game. Yeah, maybe it's like you know electric cars. It's getting easier to produce batteries and things over time. Maybe VR one day, it'll, maybe the game engines will have some sort of hey, when you design it in this, you could port it to VR easy. Maybe that might come in the future. You know, what or I mean? you just do away with it all and have one console and it's just VR now. And at some point in time, that switch will happen, and the future will just be VR. And now when Bethesda is making a game, they're just making the game for VR. Yeah. And then you can just turn the VR, and that's off. where yeah. all your resources go. Instead of trying to do 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 both. Yeah. Side note, I did hear that there's um there's rumors of Xbox possibly having a VR. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Dude, I, did I feel like if they stuff. did it, they would just partner with somebody like yeah, Valve, right? right? Or Oculus, right? Yeah, yeah they would just Oculus. buy Oculus. Like, all right. Well, you Oculus can use Oculus on yeah, Xbox I, now. <laughs> you're right. That's how they would do it, right? Yeah. 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 Oculus is owned by hardware. Facebook, so I don't yeah. think that okay, they're going to Okay, yeah, that, maybe but. one of the other ones, you know what I'm saying? But that, would, that, but that seems like... But you could partner yeah. with Facebook. That seems like the route to yeah, go instead of reinventing like the Facebook wheel. Would just use what they're doing already. Facebook would require some crazy shit. Because they require you now to have like your Facebook account like a legit Facebook account yep. and all that stuff tied to your games. So yep. if they, You're and weird, if for man. some reason they decide that your Facebook account ain't legit, you could have your family post it, all that shit been had it for eight yep. years. If they deem it's not legit, every game that you purchased on that damn account, when they canceled your shit is now gone. Mm. Yeah. Like all that money that you spent That's is terrible. gone. So there's some things, you know, and people, you know, they don't want their, yeah, we're, their we're not saying they should go to Facebook. Out. I'm just right. saying like right. they, they make a partnership yeah. right. with somebody. They would have to use they, the hardware they would have on to all that shit. I can't know. imagine <laughs> Microsoft spending resources right on developing a whole new VR. If they're if they're still trying to compete with PlayStation, who knows? which Maybe. they always I mean, they have are, money right? to spend. Sony's yeah, spending money knows, on it, which I'm surprised. Who they believe knows? in it, I guess. But but, but yeah, so. Um, you know, one of the last uh, tidbits of information, you know, we got like a little special surprise trailer yeah. of Project Athea, a.k.a. Forspoken. We finally got the actual name yeah, for it. Forspoken. Um, 
you know, you guys saw the video. It was literally like, <laughs> it was quick. It was, it was like a, few, like a couple minute, minutes, couple a minutes, minute quick. something, right? Yeah. It was, you got the voice actor and then that quick trailer. Right, the old, old girl from uh, Charlie's Angels, I believe, the, the newest one mm. or oh, whatever. Okay. She's from that. And, um, you know, when I was first looking at it, I was like, okay, the character looks pretty close to her. Yeah, no, totally. And, uh, you know, it's like, you know, a woman who's wearing like regular up-to-date clothes and then you see a dragon. And then it's like, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. That's like you know, Final Fantasy. How is this? Yeah, how yeah. is this setting and stuff mm -hmm. like that? And then you see the attire change towards like the end of the of the clip or whatever, where she's wearing that long cape, which is what we had seen before. And then that fluid movement, man. That yeah. that fluid movement definitely was looked, looked yeah. nice. It looked like, really good. Like, really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, like my first thought too was like when I saw her in the street clothing, she looked like she was in regular clothing, and then she was like in a med medieval kind of yeah, yeah. world. I was thinking some type of a ruin or something. She traveled, like, like maybe like uh, she time traveled, time traveled or like mm. um, she was transported, like a alternate universe. Yeah, something. like yeah, alternate universe or like you know, sort of online the whole thing where like she mm. transferred into some weird world. Digital right, world. right, right. Because she was wearing normal like modern day clothes. Yeah. Right, right. That was, I was she was like, wearing regular you know yeah. Chuck Taylor like, sneakers. Yeah, low clearly cut, she's you know? not yeah. from yeah. this world that she's in right now. Right. So I was like, that's interesting. Like she just got transported here and now she's got to figure it out. Um, that's cool. And then of course the movement, man. Mark and I were talking like yeah. in chat like. You know when you, in, in Marvel when you like shoot forward, yeah, and, that, you, and you fly yeah. forward, Spider Man, right? and you're kind of like floating, like, and you kind of yeah. grab again. Like it had that really good, yeah. grabby, filly, fluid motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah it seemed it seemed real smooth, like uh, Pathless. Yeah, I haven't played Pathless. You played that? I haven't played it, but okay. I'm just saying, oh, okay. like from the footage and whatnot, okay. you know, you're shooting the arrow and then you're like beelining mm -hmm. it to that and stuff. It seemed mm -hmm. like, you know, like it was a, uh, it was all about like a flow. Yeah, you yeah. know, like it had you like had some to get, rhythm like, to the flow or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, it was yeah, but cool. so was Spider Man, right? Because you're like, you're yeah, like, timing yeah. your grab to the next yep. building, exactly. right? Like right, or when you're in the tree stuff. area. Yeah, like and then of course the powers look dope, right? She's like smashing the ground and like these things are coming out. Yeah. I don't know. It looks great, right? It, it looks pretty darn polished. Yeah. I would say for the for our first, you know, little look at the trailer, the model looked really good. Were those cinematics at first? You think the first yeah. area with the clothes and the dragon? That's I was thinking song. that was cinematic, but I wasn't sure. Uh, okay. But I was thinking it was cinematic too. Gotcha. But I wasn't hundred percent because the game is such a jarring transition. Yeah. Oh yeah. From that to the game that. Yeah. But the game was looking so good. I was like, dang, this is like yeah. really good looking. Yeah. It kind of. I don't know to you guys, but it kind of looked a little weird. The hair. I don't know if that's like uh, these like next gen graphics things because I I saw it on um what was that other whack ass game that they uh, <laughs> released for uh <laughs> sorry if you like it but uh -huh. um the the one that uh medium oh, the yeah. hair kind of yeah. looked the same uh -huh. where it's like overlapping and it's trying to create like depth but you can see through like the front yeah. part of the hair and stuff like that so that kind of looked a little weird well maybe so, that's just like a development problem right now who knows yeah um, maybe it is polishing. but i mean medium had that bullshit so yeah but medium is yeah. a low quality game so <laughs> <laughs> hey they're using they're Sorry. using they're fully utilizing the engine of the series x right so that's what you have yeah. to account for. Maybe that's they need to hire some barbers right. as developers. But like, yep, that looks about right. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, that, that hairstyle's a little off, right. bro. You shouldn't be able to see through those bangs, man. Yeah. But yeah, that so, was exciting to finally get word. That was 2022, I think they said, right? Uh, Early 2022. I didn't. I don't know if I saw I like they gave a year. Recall. Did they give a year? Not sure. I thought we got a year. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. But one. yeah, I'm glad we finally got a name. It looked great. Right. Um, I thought. I thought Project Who's Apia seemed kind of cool, though. This is Square Enix or. This is well. Square is, is, uh, is a publisher. Yeah, it's publishing it. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. I can't remember who's developing. So you think it's gonna be a Game Pass like uh, day one, like outright? Dude, how cool! Would That'd that be crazy. Be? No, because PS Five was it was uh, in the PS Five event. Project yeah, see, this is saying January twenty twenty two. That's true. I think they just said early twenty twenty two. Okay, twenty twenty two. So first quarter then. Yeah. Probably. Nice. For spoken. And then it'll get pushed back because of COVID. <sighs> To, yeah, uh, 2027. Like third quarter. <laughs> 2027. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, so um, it definitely looked like it was pretty cool. Yeah, I want to see world, more. right? Like it would look like a because yeah. like, like, the desert scene when she kind of like jumps off the cliff. That was right, cool, right. Yeah. Towards like, like a float. big dinosaur or yeah. something like that. So maybe like more like uh, Assassin's Creed kind of world. You think? Yeah, yeah. I was kind of getting that yeah. feel. Assassin's Creed is nice and open. Just the world. movement is so, so cool. Yeah. I was thinking like or like Spider-Man open world. I was thinking like Mistborn, man. 
mm. throwing coins and oh, pushing herself off. Dude, things. that'd be so wicked. She to was have like a floating Mistborn around man. without any trees and stuff. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just she was in case you that. don't know what yeah. Mistborn is, it's a book. Who's the author of Mistborn? Brandon Sanderson. Okay. Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's a really that good book if you guys like books. You know, check it out. Uh, you know, Audible. You know, that's it's it's good it's really title cool. to check out. You can get Audible for free, something yeah. like that. Or you can they probably find the book for free or pretty cheap, mm-hmm. not for free, and just read yeah, it. Yeah, on Kindle really, for sure. Really good stuff, man. But yeah, yeah so good, man. Looks good. That's what I was thinking because it's like a female lead, so like then, and then she's like running around, like pushing off things, like mysteriously. Yeah. Because in Spider Man, you see that you know, he's using his rope. You know, he's using his spider webs. Right. We didn't. It. We didn't see that we actual power. What, how, or whatever we don't know how. Yeah. Where she get, we don't know where she's getting her power from. What her power is. How it works. Yeah. We just know that she's using it for movement. I still want to know more about like the storyline and and what not's going on. Totally. With it, you know. Totally. So I'm hoping that you know because they showed us this clip. That they're not just gonna go silent for like the rest of the year. That we hear, you know, some more stuff from it. Yeah. I also want to hear some more stuff Slowly from Starfield, surely, right? you know, because we haven't seen People anything from Starfield. Saying there's E3 this year. I don't. There know. Is, I heard so. that they were Bethesda was gonna show some Starfield at E3. Maybe they oh. have a digital E3. I hope, man. That'd be nice. I hope it would be nice some, if they I had a, a physical E3, one. Man, that you some could go good to. releases this summer. I'm only hoping to see all that because. You need to get back to some normalcy, man. I want a yeah. PSX, man. Yeah, me too. PSX. I love a <laughs> nice. PSX, that would be, dude. That would be awesome. Would be I would nice. definitely go to PSX. Vegas masked up so I could freaking go check that out, dude. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, who knows, man? After the vaccine, who knows? Yeah. Well, you know. Might be in uh, our things, future. Things might slowly start to open up. I think they said that uh, you got like a good six months or something Theaters like that. Theaters are open again. That's true. Well, well theaters have been tonight. open. Not They've just been reducing us, the number not, of people. For us, they just not, opened in, in our county. In San Bernardino, literally Riverside just county, two days March ago. March 17th. Yeah, March 17th. Yeah. Literally, like, yeah, two days Because we entered ago. the red zone. When did they close then? Because I saw a movie earlier. Depends like, on the county. It's, mid- ca- it's county-based. Hmm. So yeah, San Bernardino, you're, you're in San Bernardino. I've been in, I live in Riverside County. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we yeah. just opened up on March 17th. But really? That's what we opened up, too. We just opened up on the 17th as well. Because I went and saw... Damn, I had to ask my wife what movie I but saw. But what city did you go to? I was in San Bernardino. Oh. We went to uh Monster to the, the Regal. Nah, I ain't see that trap. That's <laughs> for the theaters. In downtown San Bernardino? The Regal RPX yeah. 14? Yeah, 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 yeah. We went to that one. Was it Was it that one or was it Harkins? It was Harkins. We went to it Harkins. It couldn't have been Regal because I know Regal's closed. We yeah. went to Harkins and Redlands. Really? And we saw a movie over there. I can't like, remember. I don't even think Regals are open right now, even though like, they could be. They're not. Uh, mm. October. But or something AMC's like that are open. Of last year. Really? Yeah. Oh, you went in October? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it was, back then. It was during was a the pandemic. Window. And it was definitely like, um, you know, you couldn't get, like, it was like every two or three seats. Yeah, I did. Like I went there too. And then they closed down again. They were they open for like a short down. window. Right. There was a short window they were open, and I went too. Okay. But then they, they've, they've been closed down ever since then. Okay, because I know they yeah. were hawking popcorn in the front yeah. Yeah. for like a cool yeah. minute yeah. and yep. whatnot. They've so been closed down ever sales. since that time. They've been mm-hmm. closed down. Oh, okay. So like yeah. December, January, February, November, they've, it's been closed. Mm-hmm. I know that these movie theaters is definitely plotting, and, and some of the, the movie production places are plotting because I think uh, – uh, what was it Space Jam? It's supposed to be coming out this year, yeah. and that's supposed to be coming out in theaters. Almost like everything you know? from last year got pushed this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I think sucks. they still they still holding Black Widow to the yeah, chest. Yeah, Black Widow, Double so Seven, Dune, all of them have been yeah. pushed. Yep. Top Gun, all of them are pushed to this year. So we'll see right. if they even come out. Yeah, we will see. Yeah. you know, yeah. but. Except for the Disney ones, those ones, those ones on are Disney watching Plus. on Disney Plus. Yeah, but well, those been kind of flopping too. But yeah, I don't know. Flopping. I liked Raya. I thought Raya. was Oh, cool. I heard that I was didn't amazing. See Raya, yet. Raya and the the, cool? the dragon or whatever. Yeah, the I heard, last dragon. But was I heard cool. Mulan was bad. Like Mulan, Mulan was, was bad. Ass. Mulan was really it? bad. Unfortunately, yeah. but I think they knew what time it was with Mulan. And that's why it was the first one <laughs> that was out there. <laughs> there was a lot of hype for it though. Oh, there was. It was because it was the first like you know all all Asian type of cast. Yeah, it was a poor movie, man. But, but they need to they need to go ahead and quit playing and throw that black I heard widow. Out Tom there. and Jerry was right or was was terrible too. Really? Yeah. I don't know, but Tom and Jerry released. was on HBO Max. Yeah, that was also released though. Mm, I yeah. don't know how well these digital releases are doing. Dude, I think yeah. the HBO Max is they've been releasing like some good ones. Like have you guys checked out the Zack Snyder? Uh, I started it last Justice night. I started yeah, I started it, night. but oh, that's yeah. been four cool. hours. It's so pretty cool. You yeah, know, you, you got like it's an epic yourself. now. <laughs> now. All of a sudden it's an yeah. epic, right? It's like yeah. Ben Hur. It's like yeah. what's the Scoot was saying that it got some good reviews. Yeah, I was I hearing that they changed like practically. They added a lot more context. It's a totally different feel now. It's all much darker and Even the start of it was Yeah, it's a totally different feel. So Yeah. 
Anyways, but uh, a little movie detour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so that's all we got for you guys this week. Uh, we appreciate you guys for listening and tuning mm-hmm. in on uh YouTube. Um, uh, if you haven't yet, please uh like and subscribe. I mean, if you haven't done that shit yet, what the fuck are you? You doing? made it to this you know point. I mean? like, subscribe. Come on, bro. Yeah. Just hit that red button right there. Just tap it real quick. You know what I mean? If you feel like you want to do a little extra, you know, go ahead and hit the bell right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? And leave a comment, guys. And the, uh... leave comments. We want to see y'all comment. <laughs> we see viewers, but we don't see comments. So you know, uh, there are a couple of people. Uh, shout outs to. Uh, Arcid right. Soul. Yeah. Uh, do you do you know one of the other ones that been commenting? Squid was commenting quite a bit. bit. There. Shout I, out to Squid. I saw Squid, Squid. comment. Thanks, Squid for that. There was another guy. My fault. I'm gonna make sure I write your names down. We'll shout y'all out in the next one. But there's a couple of people that have been commenting yeah. pretty regular, and we talk back. Appreciate to all you guys. So, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you guys. And um, until next week, we'll catch you later. Deuces. Peace. See ya. I love you, mate.